Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> how, how, how is everyone? How, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Exanima. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not quite fear and hunger, but you know, there is a lot of fear and you will... You will hunger for... Good stuff. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Welcome. But yeah, the whole fear and hunger thing, right? Like, I I do like the game. It's a good game. It would very much fit into the whole, you know, Halloween, October theme, 100%. But, um, again, sadly, s sadly, I, I, I do know, like, what's happening in the game, you know? Like, I know, I know the quirkiness to it. Quirkiness, by the way, yes. Um, like, I, I know both games and whatnot. Like, like it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a shame, you know? Hey, don't try to drown me out with the sonic sound, okay? I'm talking right now! <laughs> hey, come on, don't do this, man! <laughs> Anyways, uh... <laughs> okay, guys, listen, if you don't want to hear me, hear me talk, then it's fine to say it so, okay? Yeah, no, it's, um... Yeah, like, like, I know most of the Fear and Hunger stuff, you know, but, um... It's it's louder than you. It's it's pretty loud. It's pretty loud. Yeah, yeah. Pe people wanted it to be louder. Okay, so it was dead. Yeah, to time the end of the drowning sounds. Yeah, yeah close enough. As close as one could get, I imagine. But um, yeah, like fear and hunger. Absolutely. I think if you guys want to experience fear and hunger, best do it blind. I I would say. Uh, since, again, like, a uh, game, game can be kind of disturbing, you know, um, in, in, in certain cases, you know. Uh, again, anal bleeding is a status effect, and <laughs> don't ask how you get that one. And, um, yeah, like, uh, if, if you guys want to enjoy it, it's probably, I think it's really one of those games best enjoyed if you just play it by yourself. Uh, and if not, you know, there's like a million YouTube videos on those games, I guess, so it'll stand, <laughs> yeah. Also, thank you guys for the, uh, for the, for the point redeem, for the October thing. And yeah, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Where are we right now? 54%. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, the, the, but yeah, the sonic sound is pretty loud. Like, I don't think I'm dead quite overall, you know? So it was dead. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I know Xanima. Is it another top-down? Yeah, yeah, kinda. So, Exanima uh, is, is like two games, right? Um, one of them is an arena mode, one of them is a dungeon crawler, kinda. We're gonna be doing the dungeon crawler. Um, we've done both previously, and um, I... It is, it is top-down, in a way. It's all 3D, by the way, not like Diablo, so you can change your camera perspective and whatnot, and like zoom in and whatnot to a certain degree. And it's the, the main thing is it's um, very physics based, right? So I'm gonna have my radical aiming at the enemy. If I don't do anything, my character should automatically block, usually. And if I left click, you know, just quiet, I have to turn the sound up if I watch, because everyone else I watch is louder by default. I'm not that quiet. <laughs> like, I'm looking at OBS, I'm, I'm very well in the, uh, in the yellow, even. You know? So, if, 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 I mean, I can, I can turn myself way up, but then I would be in the red, and then my mic would mayhaps peak, uh, as the thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, another thing, again, it's mainly physics space, so... If you left-click on your enemy, you will attack him. However, if you swing your mouse back and forth, you will swing harder, you know? So you, 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 you will deal more damage by default. Talk whispering to the microphone, saying he's not that quiet. That's amazed my head. It's really so quiet, we need to hear the mic peeking. Okay, okay, hold on. Is this better? Is... is it is is this better? Do am I am I clear now? Can, can you guys hear me? <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me let me like oh God, let me turn it down again. Test one two one two. Is this good? Okay, yeah, this this should be fine. This should be fine. But yeah, hey, good morning, Sil. Good morning or afternoon, I suppose. But yeah, yeah, morning, morning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be hopping into the game now. 
So, um, I'll, I'll explain as we go, yeah? Is Madness, Scar is, is Madness Combat a scary universe? I, I don't know what it is, so... ASMR stream hype? You want some ASMR? You, you, wanna, you wanna hear me like talk like this? Is it better? Is it better, Seth? <laughs> As a nonsense new ground universe, I, 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 yeah, again, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with it. It's the thing. Stop. <laughs> For some chat, being like, stop. <laughs> I don't care, Rose. Welcome. This is not my usual stream, by the way. Or I read, I, 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 I don't do that usually. <laughs> yeah. Um. You need to lick the mic as well. No, I need to get one of those mics which have like the little ear attachment thing, which exists for some reason, and then I lick it, okay? Anyways, Xanima, it's a game, and we'll be playing it, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, right, we do have the other things unlocked. I, I guess we go for the default unknown thing, I think. That's, that's like where we are naked. So there's that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember the boy. I remember the boy. So, um,. Yeah, you see, the last time we played, we, um... So Muffin, he looks a little different. The last time we played was with Hell Mode. Now, Hell Mode allows you to, um... So you have the physics slider, you know? And if you use Cheat Engine, this is like number one, this is zero value, this is one value. And if you find a proper value, you can turn his obesity way up, you know? And that's what we did the last time, so... You know, the guy the guy was pretty damn swole. Uh, kinda, like, in, in, in a way. So, um, make yourself an Xanima. Alright. There we go. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I'm, I'm an emaciated dwarf. <laughs> Make a value 10. I can't. Not not with uh, default game on. Can we turn him into a hiver? His oh, yeah. Yeah, we can turn him into a hiver. There you go. It's a hiver. Um, yeah, like, basically... These things do carry stats with you, by the way. Like, if you're skinny... And small... You have a bad time. Because your reach is gonna be shit. People will keep hitting you on your head. And you're pathetic, <laughs> you know? Uh, now, if you're a giga chat tall man, you have more reach, you know? Now, if, if you're if you're actually, you know, strong, you hit harder. If you're, if you're beefy, you know, I believe you can take a little more, you know? So, um, you know, you, we're gonna go for peak physique, you know? And we're, we're gonna be young, because then, then that belly, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get, like, <laughs> sucked in, you know? Yeah, that's right now. Now, why... Now why in the hell can I not be blue here? First of all, I, I have white hair. Everyone knows that. The stress of streaming itself. Dude, hold on. Hold on a moment. Handle bro masters. Now dad, now, now we're talking. Hold on, let me, make me a ginger. I hardly see a difference, but I believe you're red. Uh, the beard now, so. I I'll just have to believe, you know? B.O.B.'s, B.B.O.B.'s, no. No, I'm gonna be the Giga Hive Roof, the Handle Misses, you know? That's right. And so if Muffin... Hold on. It's his brother. Buffin. <laughs> That's right. I was just gonna say. Uh-huh. 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 We can also be very high pitched, by the way. This be swole beast, the type of people who have the six pack under beer gut, like this. <laughs> like I'm a sumo wrestler, you know. Like I'm not only fat; I've that athletic fat, you know. It's like a protective layer above my muscle, you know. Hey, Gap, how are you doing? Welcome. How's welcome, Paul? Hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, 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 it's, it's it's like beep if it was, like, swole bees. We'll go deep voice, you know? Yeah. This is the current bodybuilder physique with the ugly gut. Yeah, man. That's right. We can make it saggy, too. <laughs> oh, no. It's, I am a barrel. No, I became barrel. 
Ah, uh, well. There we go. I mean, I'd rather be young instead of turning into... Like, I'm like a vegetable and I'm progressively decaying. Look at this. Like, it's like a time lapse. A anyway. <laughs> Maybe a little less wall beast, you know? Just, just a... Uh, yeah, yeah. Beefy boy, but not like that much beef, you know? Yeah, we're gonna be bold. Yeah, so certain points I'm broke. Ah, oh, man, I hate to see that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the best of both worlds. <laughs> the chubby bunny, yeah. A lean patty, them right. Now, the gut is fine having no fat layer over the muscles unhealthy. You mean like this? <laughs> yeah. Become four from God of War Ragnarok. Uh, uh, it's a bit more of a gut. It's like, it's like in the middle here, kinda, you know? Gotta get a sneeze! Oh no! Gotta fight the steez now! I will be victorious! Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with this guy. It's fine. Yeah, as you can tell, um... Can I, can I just remove points real quick? Can I, can I like, not, not, dude? That's uh, whatever. Um... We're gonna get some clothes. I know, because we're gonna be civil. Now, you know what? No top. No top. Okay? Reassign him. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, forget technique. It didn't work before. It only worked now that you said it. Um, so, basically, Xanima. Um, so, again, we made our character here, kind of. You know, something rudimentary. We're pressing no, have I? Well, I guess I was tripping. Now, uh, again, close combat allows you to fight with weapon. And you follow a swing with another in the opposite direction. I like that one. That's just kind of something I need. Um, feigning, I don't know that up. Often I bend your attack to quickly parry. I'm gonna get these two. Right? I'm gonna get those two. Do you need a weapon? Well, I don't have a weapon selected here, so we're gonna we're gonna pick one up eventually, you know. But there's no weapons here. Is ranged combat even a thing? Like I I don't think it, yeah it's not a thing yet. Yeah no it's, it's game's currently in point like 0 0.9 by the way. Um armor. Move more swiftly under the weight of your armor. Actively uh, protects caps in weakened areas of your armor. Confidence in your armor allows you to continue attacks while receiving blows. We'll get back to that. Shield? That's for cowards. Um, inside. Now, here, here, here's where the wacky stuff happens, including with concentration, you know? Now, um, produce an opposite or contrary effect. Apply. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the other one. Um, maintain a binding while performing other tasks. Sustain bindings for grow much less of your focus. focus. Oh my god, what, what, what is this? Translator! Translator! <laughs> are the Pugilist Gloves still hidden in the lobby? They, they, they probably are. Like if you do Arena, they most likely are, yeah. Uh, inversion, uh, amalgamation, or uh, are still unused. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Well, we'll just use those eventually, okay? We'll 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 do those once we're in the game, okay? Well, I, I guess we're just gonna actually go with the basic thing I had earlier. Yeah, we we just move better while having armor, you know? Yeah, we just yeah we 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 move really good under weight of armor, you know? That's like our thing. Can I just get? How many points can I get? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay, I can get this one. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, just get 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 get, get rid of this one. Away, I'll be gone. Yeah, it, I just maneuver really well under armor, you see, which I don't have right now, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, we'll, we'll just move on. Ah, there it is. So, uh, this is new. This thing on the side's new. Mind force, displacement, light, energy, sadness, <laughs> like just depression, you know? So if mind formaturgy, force formaturgy, and they added a bunch of new things which literally don't do anything. Okay. So we know mind, we've done mind before. So what do we have here? Unleashes unsustained stream of force in front of you. Move and manipulate distant objects. Release a bolt of focused force able to hit distant targets. There's a wave of force pushing away anything surrounding you. Quickly form a barrier of dense force to protect you. Blast. 
pushing away anything in front of you. Okay. Jedi powers? Kinda, yeah. Basically. Yeah, yeah. So many years of fixing, yeah. Like, they, they, they were still working on the game. They just had, like, a bunch of different, like, formaturgy things, you know, back here. I mean, with mind, you can send someone's mind. Quite literally. You, you know where people are. Consider your own thing. Calm people so they don't attack you or confuse them to fight each other, you know? Nothing. It's, it's not in the game. It, it doesn't exist. It's fake. It's a fake, you know? Yeah. I was in spirit. I don't welcome. Yeah, so far, the biggest update? I believe so, yeah. And the spacemen aren't in the game yet, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sifted out the difference of colored swords, yeah. I've never seen arena modes. Oh, you've never seen the uh, the dungeon thing? Well, get ready. It's gonna be quite something. Uh, so, requires convergence. Now, if I go back, convergence was somewhere, right? One of those. Convergence. There it is. There's the boy. So yeah, I'm just gonna get Convergence so I can get Thing in the middle. Bolt. Begin. So, the Dungeon Crawler mode allows you to also use basically Xanima's version of magic. And, um... It's pretty neat. You don't see that in Arena. But also, Arena has certain things like the Beast, you know, the Ogre and whatnot. Now, those those you don't see in the in the um, in this mode. But um, when you play Hell mode, which is a mod, by the way, made by the Exodus community, it's a mod that makes the whole game far, far, far more difficult. Now, uh, God, I gotta remember my buttons. Holy fuck! Been a while. How, how, how do I open this? The menu. Like, I noticed, like, lore. I'm gonna catch, like, five minutes off the stream today. Yo? Let's go. Uh, it appears to be the final page of the letter. And assist him in whatever way you can. If all else fails, then recover any information he has gathered and bring it to me. There is a potential in you. Succeed here and we will find a place for you. Badly scribbled across the back of the page are the following words. There is another way out. If you try Alt plus F4, it might actually be um, uh, one of those. Yes, yes. Um, now let's see. K for skill menu, P for powers, and Z or X don't remember for the power bar. Z. Doesn't do much. Hold on. Z. No. X. Well, that's also not true. Uh, is this? C C for this. And Spirit, thank you for gifting a sub to Des. Um, okay, P. P is my formaturgy menu. We're currently learning bolt. Yeah, and K for skills. Okay. Okay. So we are getting bold with convergence. Torrent. I need a sustained stream of your force in front of you. Kine uh, kinesis. Move and move your distant objects. I mean, that sounds cool too, right? Uh, conversions and then coherence, do they say? It's a little cryptic, you know? It's a little cryptic at times. But yeah, this is how the game looks, right? Now again, it's, it's, it's extremely physics-based, right? So if I, like... I'm clumsy and like happen to fall over the rocks here. I will fall and hurt myself. Now, you know, just simple torches, and we'll need that torch because it's really dark in here. And combat, like I can just, like I, I just right click, right? I just right click, and I just swing, right? But if I like hold left click, I can swing harder. See, and that inherently does already more damage. If I double click. <clears throat> if I double click, I swing downwards. Now, what's the crouch button? X. So if I downward swing and then crouch at the same time, I do more damage swinging downwards, you see? If, uh... <laughs> Come on, do it. Okay, <laughs> whatever, man. And if you hold Alt and click, again, you do a little stabbing motion. And if you go forward while stabbing, you once again... You do a little more damage, 
against all, all sorts of physics space. Now, right here, I managed to follow my fat ass, you see? Because... Uh, <laughs> please! I'm being beaten by a barrel right now, so there's that, you see? So that's that's how that works, kinda. Um, you know. What did it just do? What a ragdoll loving it. Yeah, yeah, it's uh... Like, if I walk over this here, I probably will also follow my face. See? That actually cost me health, by the way. It, it did cost me health. Like, I, I actually do take damage from falling. <laughs> so, so there's that, you know? Yeah, yeah. I can, I can, yeah. But yeah, Xenra has been in um, development for quite some time. Also, thank you for the um, Lurgan uh, class. Almost said in spirit. <laughs> yeah, just sort of like messes. Oh no, not the church, please! Now, I, I vaguely remember there being a weapon on the floor I could use. Also, you just left click on all sorts of the environmental objects to move them around like this, you know? Which, by the way, we will be using to our advantage or disadvantage, depending on the, um, you know, s environment we'll be in. But yeah, we, we, we open the doors like this, you know? And then you can see behind, right? Control again, uh, I forgot which, uh, you drag things instead. It's control. Control to drag. And, you know, no control if you want to just make it levitate, basically. Now, we're inside of a dungeon. And we don't know how we got here. What we do know, that this place is not safe. And we better find a weapon quickly. So, again, Xemna has two modes, right? For the uninitiated. And one of those modes is the arena mode. Which is, you know, you're a gladiator. And you just try and do your best to, um... Basically... You know, get out of the arena alive. Now, if we open this door... I believe there's gonna be a little buddy waiting for us. Hello? It is me, John Exanima. I'm surprised it's not here. Usually there's a dude in here. That, or, um, is my hell mode mindset. But you see this on the floor? That's right. Stick. Now, stick? Stick is a two-handed weapon. We can't wield stick properly with the torch in our hands. So what we do is we move torch on floor. So we can wield stick. <laughs> it's very ghetto. I know. But it's simply the way we do it. Hey, buddy. So, uh, how are you doing there? You're lo not looking too good there, man. Yeah, we get zombies in here. I poke him! I poke the damn zombie! And I shut the door on him! Nah, no, just kidding. Come on. Come on out, let's fight. Good. There he is! The boy! My god, he... He successfully avoided my attack by... Falling onto his ass! I punch him. And then I finish him off to make sure he's dead. I missed. Wait, no. Okay. It's just a cadaver now. I'll take his pants on like them more, he can have mine. That's right. He also had, um... Move aside, what, what, what weapon were you wielding there? Something one-handed, perhaps? Frankly, I don't see shit, so... <laughs> so there's that, you know. I take towards and place it in the room. It's tired. Need some sleep. I suppose so. I suppose that's one way of viewing it, yeah. I'm off to bed. I look forward to watching the janky shenanigans later on. Alrighty, man. Have a, have a, have a nice sleep, yeah? And thank you for coming by and saying hi.
Guys, we got shoes. And a machete. Um, a kind of a machete, right? Long knife. Long knife. And a bit of a shield. Now, shield's cool and all, but I go with torch for now. So we don't need to drag it along. Alrighty. So let's be off. Let's move on. Yeah, so, we got long knife now. The longest of the knives. Huh? <laughs> Later on, there's gonna be physics puzzles, by the way. A la Half-Life, you know? Being like, okay. So? How do I move? Uh, hey, you. I cut you in the face. I kinda cut you in the face. Uh, I got cut. So, at the bottom... That's a good time as any to mention it. At the bottom, you see my yellow bar. The yellow is my current health. It's my stamina. When that gets reduced to zero, I am knocked out. The red, that's damage. That's actual damage. If my whole health bar is red, I die. I'm just dead. So, we want to take as little red damage as we physically can. You know? That's why I kind of like the stick, because stick, well, stick happens to be, you know, a weapon with actual range compared to a slightly long knife. Now, things also have stats, you know, like the balance, you know, faster swing, the impact damage of the weapon, the slashing damage, and the thrusting damage, which is absolutely horrible with this knife. So, you know, we won't be doing any thrusting attacks. It's kind of how it works. And, again, you can use the environment your advantage. Like, you can place down a log to um, have the enemy, like, fall on top of it and, like, bumble and, like, break their own neck and stuff. No, that's just options. And here we see another zombie. Some of them are genuinely mindless. So mindless, in fact, that they don't even realize that you want to attack them until it's... You're, like, right in their face, like... I kiss the zombie. And then I attack the zombie. Right in the face. Slash them across the cheeks. Now, this game... ...can be extremely janky at times. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and... ...kind of like in Dark Souls, right? There's like a... ...like a weapon, right? Say, like an axe, for example. If I fight somebody with an axe, I want to be hitting those guys with, you know, the, the sharp bit of the axe. Now, hitting them with the stick, it doesn't do really a lot of damage. Who would have figured that one, you know? So, um, you know, it's, it's things like these that Xanima does have going on. Also, I'm gonna get rid of some of the clothing that I really, really don't need. But yeah, that's, that's kind of how it works, you know? Sounds like rocket science. People love physics in this game, put it that way. Yeah, there's also healing potions we can find to recover our red health. You know, make it not red. And uh, those are far and few between, by the way. So, um, if we find one of those, we're gonna keep a good eye on him, you see? Someone in the right part of the weapon? Unthinkable. I know, it's crazy, right? It's, it's absolutely crazy. But it's true, though. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do in here. Now, this is content we had in the game for quite some time. You're doing. <laughs> so check this out. We place down a spike where the zombie is, right? We place down a few spikes here. And there's this really ghetto-looking um, barricades. Now. I, I pretend to be aggro to the zombie. Hold on. Maybe I can do better. Like, we, we, can, we can do those shenanigans early on. Because later on, the enemies will actually, you know, they, they will attack you regardless. So we do this, right? And I'm like, grrr. Grrr. Fucking idiot fell over. Fucking idiot fell over again. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at him struggle! Yeah, that's what rotting muscles do to a man! 
The first thing I would have done in this game would be dying to the first room by face planting. Understandable. But yes, yeah, see, zombies, they don't really, um, good in motor control, as you can clearly tell. Now, let's try not fall into this same trap as I did, you know? Or rather, as the zombie did. No, not, not me. I, I didn't. Yet. Now, note how I hit the zombie with the side of my weapon instead of, like, you know, the slashy bit. Also, we really don't want to fall over and, like, break our own neck, you see? Ah. <laughs> fucking chair in the way, dude. Maybe he'll fall over. Maybe he'll fall over the chair. <laughs> Maybe. I'm really struggling hitting this zombie in the head. There we go. We did it now. <laughs> Not this guy. Yeah. Is this too easy for you? Oh no, the game's gonna get... <laughs> it's gonna get more difficult as we go, okay? Um... Yeah, also that zombie had a hammer, by the way, so... Let me... Let me grab this one real quick. Hammer better than stick, in that way. Stick? Stick? The whole stick is the good part of the weapon you hit with. The hammer? It's only the tip that's the good part, you see? It's, uh, it's a bit of a thing, and the hammer also tends to be slower than stick. I usually prefer uh, stick over hammer, though. Personally. Now, um... Basically, the oh, my beloved. Billhook. Billhook? I miss you. <laughs> Where have you been for so long? Put the torch into the inventory and we equip the billhook. Billhook? Goes hard in this game, okay? Uh -huh. the wheelbarrow! <laughs> yeah, the billhook. Billhook goes actually hard in this. Oh, yeah, and um, in one of the previous updates, by the way, they did add. They did add, like, um, procedural, like, weapon quality, so they're, they're just dead. Hey, Luna, how you doing? Welcome. Welcome to Exanima. The dungeon we find ourselves in. We do not know what it is. What we do know is that we damn it, we want to get out of here. Put this out to the side. But yeah, there's enemies with a lot of armor on them who you usually want to attack using like blunt weapons, you know, like a hammer, you know, to, to kind of bypass the whole slashing resistance they may have. So, by the way, zombies, they only attack, by the way. Zombies only attack. They they don't really do defending. Later on, we'll be fighting enemies who will defend themselves and parry your attacks and whatnot. So, it'll, um, it'll get more involved. And also, there was a toilet zombie, by the way. Yeah, the first toilet zombie we've seen here. That's right. One of many. Guys, always check out your toilets. You never know if there's like a man hiding. Alright. Now, letters. Letters are pretty funny, by the way. Because they they are like a physics mess, by the way. So, <laughs> you'll, you'll see once we get there. Our goal, by the way, is to go deeper into the dungeon. And kind of figure out what's happening. So, that, that's the TLDR. What is this room? Anything in here? Get this chair out of the way, come on. Hey, who are you? <laughs> hey, who? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Just gotta make sure he's dead! Oh, wait. I missed. There we go. Just gotta make sure that that cadaver stays a cadaver. While equipping a shirt. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Poor guy died on the toilet. Said, you too? <laughs> well, what's that implying? Okay, well, I mean, in this room, it's not too much in there, you know? So we'll just move on. 
Saint P. Thank you for the phone. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's been a while I played Xanima the last time. The last time I did play was during Hell Mode, being the mod for the game. It does just what you'd think. It turns this whole bit into hell. Way tougher enemies, way earlier. And the lore is actually pretty good of Hell Mode. I did actually like it a lot. Uh, well, not much we can do here. Even in Afterlife, we'll have our needs. Yeah, so I like I like the way the zombies are made here. They're literally brainless. All they know is how to hold a weapon and swing at you. And uh, later on, we'll find skeletons, which are cognitively less challenged, you know? Looks around the place, using the torch. Uh-huh. Okay. Didn't see too much in there. Let's go around here. Wiggle around with the fucking... <laughs> the torch. Uh-huh. Okay. Didn't see much loot. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Th this is a dead-end room. It's about examining. It's actually a... Uh, like, here's the thing. Like, the game is actually really fun. I do really like it. And, by the way, just like with Dwarf Fortress, they doubled the amount of coders and programmers they have in this game. It's now two people coding. Yeah, that's right. Two whole people coding now. Doubled. And uh, I, I really hope... Like, I'm really excited to see how the game looks like in full release. It's very ambitious. Yeah, yeah, whole two people. It's really ambitious, though. The game's actually ambitious, and I really like what... Like, technically, Xanima was meant to be a demo for Sweet Genetis or something like that. Um, I think the game was called... Hello? It's the boy, Shaggy! How are you doing? How are you doing, man? How, how do I talk to you again? Hey. It goes up in his face. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey. How, how, how do I actually talk to him? <laughs> no, that's that's weapon. That's weapon. Uh, inventory. I click on it, man. Uh, um, force pomaturgy. Um. Uh. Hi. <laughs> uh. Journal. New entry. Entry one. I found a guy lad. He was just standing there. It was indeed terrifying. Terrifying. Sorry. It fell over a chair. Damn. Okay. It's a good entry in the journal we made. It's the build process of the conversation. Hello? Yes, hi! Okay, who are you? Um, just a farmhand. Name's Darren. What are you doing here? I got attacked by bandits. They robbed me and threw me in here. I see. You see? I did not- I didn't do nothing! Uh, double negative, so he did something. Well, I'll just kill you. What? Why? So that you would not recognize them? Well, it seems they wanted to be rid of you. Perhaps they didn't have the stomach for it. How did you get here? Can you get out? I certainly intend to. What about the dead ones? If they get in my way, I will kill them. I whisper into his ear. Take me with you! Do we take Daryl with us? Or Dar Derek? Guy? Farmhand? Daryl from The Walking Dead? We can be, yes. We may be able to help each other. You intend to make yourself useful? No, you will only slow me down. Yes? Why? Uh, if yes, then, then give me a reason. <laughs> Sure, I'll take the boss for you, one boss. You know what? Yeah, sure, we may be able to help each other. 
Oh, I got a, st a stick. I able to fight? Arrow fodder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad was a soldier. Tried to teach me some. How about you? I'm quite proficient. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit, I'm quite useless myself. I'm quite proficient. We should go look around. What I would say. Just a good shirt can save your skin. I suppose. Let me know if you see anything useful. Let's go now. Daryl? D D Derek? Fuck, what's his name even? Um. Boy. How do I. How do, how do I talk? How did I even talk to you? T. T to talk. I guess that checks out. I miss your equipment. Congratulations. You're Torch Boy now. Torch Boy with machete. I'll be I'll be doing the long stick, all right? You will be the light in the darkness. You see, Dixon. <laughs> That's what we call him. Like it's not even his name. We'll just call him Dixon because we can. By the way, running into him and pushing him to the side because you can't do that. By the way, it's gonna aggro him. And if you hit him accidentally, he will eventually turn on you, uh, in you, on you. He, he won't turn into you though. All right, torch bearer. I see a few zombies are on the floor here. Hmm. Interesting. Slash half, this half, same thing really. Uh, half, half. Yeah, it's better than the other one we had. It's also gonna be a lot about coverage, you see. Let me see your equipment, D Dixon. Um, I, I got, I got some better shoes for you. And I got a little shirt for you, you know, I'm gonna equip you a little bit, you can have my hand-me-downs. You know, I'm priority number one, you- you exist. Yo! Skooma pipe! Son of a stick! You can also use this as a weapon, I believe, the candle holder. Oh, by the way, I remember one thing. Uh, so... What's the thing called people, um, pee into? <laughs> like, in the medieval times, it's like, it looks like a spoon, kinda, like a ladle. And, um, in hell mode? There was an enemy using that thing as a weapon, right? And, um... The weapon didn't have any stats normally. Fucking... Guy just falling on his face. But, because it didn't have any weapons, for some reason that thing was broken. Like, it was actually terrifying, by the way. Hey! Zombie? I see you got like a table leg as a weapon. Dick boy, get out of the way. And don't you dare hit me. Just watch out for the other guy, please. Don't get in the way, boy. Nice, the zombie beat up the other zombie. Cool. He's running! After him! Get a zombie, we can't lose him! Get him! Get him, buddy! Tackle, tackle, tackle! Tackle the zombie! I tackled him! Got him! <laughs> you got a big key, it's more like a table leg. Good job, we tackled him. Well, I tackled him. You you, you stood there. <laughs> see, I am not about to let a zombie just walk away like this. You see, after all, we call those walking bags of experience, you see. Damn right. Stuff the key, man. Uh, speaking of keys, we are looking for a few of those. Ah, it's barricaded shut. I see. Of course. Anything useful back there? Anything we can see? Hello? Give me some light, would ya? Hmm, yes. Quite, quite. Out of my way. Hey, Castle, how are we doing? 26k already, sheesh. How's it going? Hello there. Hello, hello. You okay, man? Are you okay? 
you? Buddy? Are you stuck? Hello? You... I broke the poor AI. Come on. Do something. Oof. Wait, wait, maybe if I, maybe if I drag this along the floor. Come on, do something. <laughs> there we go. Hold on, hold on. Um, maybe I can use, can I, can I use those? Oh, no, there he goes. All right, come on now. You know, just, just give him a good little wallop with like a crate and a half, and then he'll, he'll be fine. You see? Come on, it's dark in here. I can't see too well. Shot from the other side. There's an open. Well, that's pretty useful information, you see. Because really. The only place it would lead logically is into this room. And as you can see, it indeed is barricaded shut. With, you know, the pipe and whatnot. Well, moving on. There wasn't one other room. Cuddling with cardboards. I don't think cardboard was invented yet. So, we're gonna unbarricade this door now. Sort of. Eh. Eh. Come on. Eh. Help, I'm stuck in the door. Oh god, I'm too massive. Slowly but surely, we're pushing. Man, that barrel's heavy. I made it through. Derek, or whatever your name is, come on. A guy, most likely, very much not alive. I want to take his cool clothing, because it's cooler than mine. Dearest Mephis, Alara has disappeared. Many have gone missing of late, but bandits in the area are not uncommon. Alara, however, does not travel. Why does they ha Why would they have taken her? I dread to think of what they might have done to her. I thought of a ransom and so. I, I was ashamed to admit. I thought of you, but... There have been no requests for ransom, just more and more missing. I assume news of these events have not reached Ardent. It has been long since we've seen a proctor. What am I to do, uh, dear cousin? Will you at least advise me? Yeah, proctor is another star we can have, by the way. Um, also key. A yeah, dude sleeping. Sleeping, you say, huh? <coughs> See Daryl, Derek, Daredevil, you gotta double tap these guys, you know, make sure that they're actually gone. You don't want them dead to come back alive, now do ya? Okay, we got a key for our door. I can guess which one, and I do see a shadowy figure standing here. Absolutely plate that man. Look, it's down. Is that a Gumberson? It's a Gumberson. I equipped the Gumberson and the gloves. See that, Daryl? It's pretty good, right? I'm rocking that outfit, aren't I? Say I am. Before we go there, I want to check the, uh, this way. Which, if I'm not mistaken, leads back to where we've been. Okay. I just going to check all the avenues, you see. Now, this door, it's a little locked, you see. The lever to unlock it, back there. If only I had some sort of telekinesis or something like that, you know, that, that'd be uh, mighty useful. Um, by the way, uh, it's probably about time that I address the difficulty of this game. Yeah, it's a Skyrim exit, yeah. Um... So, if I was to die, I need to redo everything you- uh, Everything you've seen me do thus far. As uh, the game only saves when you enter a new floor. You know? 
So there's that. Also, this room looks incredibly new. Uh huh. Anything useful in here? <gasps> Lever. It sounds timed. Judging by the clicking. Come on. Speed up now. Oh. Okay, well, clearly, uh, this door over here did open. Very briefly. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> oh my god, please. Guys. You're embarrassing me. Ben, what did you just fall on? <laughs> and that's that's why I like Xenima a lot. Like we we actually need to be quick right here. Uh, I'm struggling going up the stairs. No, you can't. Okay, well back down we go. Okay, careful when you go down. Careful when you go down. Okay. See, elegant. Right? Do the same now. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Close enough, man. See, um, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like one of them, you know? Now, what we could try and do, I wonder, can I, can I go here and move ladder? Uh, no. No. I, I cannot. <laughs> Little hop. Move no. No, I fell up the stairs. No. That's so embarrassing. I fell up the stairs. <laughs> Not down, but up. There's a little big baby. Don't call me dead. <laughs> Please, dude. No. Well, clearly we need to do something else here, you know. Inspired by Ministry of Silly Walks. You think so? Oh, by the way, if you angle this properly, you can actually, you can wear this as an improvised helmet, by the way. Like, if, if you... Like, I'm not joking, actually. Like, if... Ah, oh shit. I almost had it. Hold on. Or this one. This one. That, that, that one's big. I, I gotta show you. Like, it actually even protects your head, by the way. Like, it unironically does. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. See? It almost works. Bucket head? Is a viable strat, by the way. It's viable, all right. Uh, you know, if you have the patience to do that. Okay, now I I kind of would still love to actually move this here, but I I guess we can't. I'd say the biggest time loss that we get is going up the stairs here. Now, can we can we do something to make this a little better? Okay, why do they go so smoothly right now? The cosplay, uh, let me solo her. No? Uh, no, I'm my own original character. I'm bathtub head. That's right. <laughs> what is this even? Let me solo her? <laughs> More like let me solo him, that's right. I got my own arc villain coming up, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's steel like in Skyrim. Sadly, not quite a thing. Now, what we could try and do, right? What we could try to do is go ahead and make a makeshift ramp to go up there. Now, how would I do that? How would I go about this? Uh, you. You there. You look awfully rampable. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, if I was to... To angle you a little differently. Getting there. Okay, let's test it. Easy. See? Easy. <laughs> Easy. So what we do instead is... 
we pull the lever, fall down after throwing a bit of a tantrum. Um, fall. Okay, let's restart. <laughs> let's restart. So, as I was saying, what we do now, instead of going up the stairs, we go up our own improvised thingy and get separated from the other guy. That's right. Well, we did make it. He, uh, well, he did not. Then again, there's a lever right here. Big boy. Come on, don't be shy. Just go up. Please. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess, you know, it's, it's a little slow. Um, it's fine. We, we don't need him. We don't need him. It's okay. Um, we, we got all we need, and that's ourselves, you see? So, what is this? Some sort of archive? What do we have here? What is this? A vault? Oh. Mail. That's actually very, very nice. The mail coif? I do very much appreciate it. And the pipe. We'll be taking the pipe with us, too. Why? I just want one. See, so yeah, that was inside of the vault. Right there, huh? Well, uh, at least our head is somewhat protected now, you know? Not, not the best if someone stabs me in the face, I'm still gonna cry. But, um, it's a start, you know? It's a start. It's beginning. Humble beginnings, after all. Nothing else in here. Is that it? No, seems to... Seems to be it for the most part, actually. I at least am not seeing anything. Hmm. Oh well, oh well. But you see, I like it. Like, it was timed to specifically make you unable to do it while running on the outside. So you had to improvise a little. Yeah, you notice something? Ah, ah, ah. You notice something? I got something on my head, see? We call the protection in the business here. Oh, speaking of protection, I see you found a friend. But I wasn't looking. Now, luckily, this guy is arguably just as inept as we are. I think I might have hit him with the billhook. Like the very, very sharp end of the billhook. I think I hit my guy with it. I mean, it does look cooler, you know. It, it does look pretty stabil. Hey, man. Um, hey. Uh, how are you doing? Been better, but nothing serious. Yeah, I kind of slashed you across your chest, didn't I? So, um, how, how about you, you get a bit of a shirt, you know, become one of the cool kids and uh, have this and carry this for me because I really don't need it. And, um, have this shirt instead. I think, I think it looks better on you. I'm just kidding. But you will have new pants from the zombie. That's right, we do not waste in here. Okay. I open door. So what do we have in here? Bunch of nothing. Hello? Nothing that I'm seeing, just a slightly opened door. We must have been in here before, right? Might have gotten turned around slightly. Oh well. Yeah, 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 I believe, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's where we looked around with the torch and found, like, absolutely nothing. Um... Yeah, so we got the key. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the key. And the key goes into, like, basically the first door we come across in this game. Being all the way back here, at the very, very start, right? All the way back here, you can actually open it. So this one was previously locked. But if we use the key on... It's unlocked now. That's right. Okay, come in, Derek. It's a bit of a pub. Now, remember in uh, Hell Mode, you fought gnomes, which were small people. 
And fuck them, by the way. Like, th those were actually the worst, you know? Small people are really hard to fight in this game. Because you have to do the overhead swing and they keep blocking when you do the overhead swing. It's not easy. You know, it's really not. You know, I'd never thought that small people would give me such a run for my money, you know? Okay, let's move on. Shame they hit me. Short Queen stay Slay, yeah, yeah. And stay winning. That that was Marlia. Who? The game tries to be realistic, yet you can't kick open the doors? I probably can do something about it. Like swing at them. Ooh, we can get big eggs. Or we can get a light sash. Press T to talk to Darren after he says something. No. I don't think I will. I'm gonna look at the equipment first. Leather vest compared to leather jacket. Hey, you know what, sir? Yeah, why not? There we go. Any any fancy boots? I like those more. No, the pickaxe. Looking pretty mighty there. What if we try and be a diggy diggy dwarf? Surely if you get hit by this thing, you're not gonna have a good time, right? Alright, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> Been better, nothing serious. I guess we missed our opportunity. So you say you knew this person, yeah? They're dead now! Dixon, they're dead! I'm gonna mind them! Pretend like this is Minecraft, buddy! And they are our diamond block, you understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, he's just like staring at me, being like, Ah, you said. Did, did you just push me? You know, just staring at me, being like, Oh, 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 what crap? What? What's a Minecraft? What? Or wasn't there like another doorway? Yes, there was. I kicked down the chair. I kicked down another chair and almost fall on my ass. Anything in here? Oh, nice. They got they got some flip flops. What's this? A figurine? I take it. It's my little good luck charm, you know. Surely. An actual axe? A thick jacket? Dude, I look stupid. Hey, uh... Errol, uh... I got, I got something for you. You'll love it. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, looking, looking good, buddy. Looking good. <laughs> okay, we'll just move on. Of course it's a pull door, not a push door. Alrighty, hello, hello. Who, who do we have in here? If anyone. Hello? Is me checking in? Eh. Seems like somebody played cards back there. Alright. Next room. Next guy. Whoa, hey, careful! I mine your spine! Get mined, boy. Get mined. That's right, I mind you. <laughs> Alright, let's move on after stumbling across the, the corpse. Oh, the freshly created corpse there. Oh, nice, shoulder armor. I'm not gonna say no to Dad. Uh, Daryl, would you like a string which looks like an apple, kinda? Oh, what's this? We got some lore? Consignment has arrived. I must find a, su a suitable place and begin work. If only I can resume living in a vague semblance of decency. I cannot stand this filth any longer. I've been living like an animal. And died to a pickaxe. What a way to go. Uh, who the fuck are you, sir? I throw him on the floor. I mine him. I bash him in the face with the pickaxe. 
Hey, say what you will, it's pretty satisfying giving someone a wallop with the pickaxe, alright? We got a ledge room. Leather belt. Little, little dice. I take leather belt over thick leather belt. Nah, actually I don't. <laughs> Gotta protect my waist after all. A light coat, is that gonna replace me Gamberson? No, it's gonna replace my tunic. It's fine. Packed the wrong fight. Oh, I see what you did. I see what you did there. Okay, guys. Uh, again, always check for toilet loot. Alright? You never know. And it, might, it might be something good in the shitter. Okay, let's reach our hand down there, alright? Mm-hmm. Okay, nothing. Only like some little uh, brown nugget. I don't know what that is about. Okay, let's go in here. Surely there's nobody in here. Or here. And certainly not in this one. Surely not, right? I check out the shitter again. Yes. Awfully empty. Suspiciously empty. For a shitter. <laughs> um, let's see. Light leather jacket? I mean... Friend, I, I, got, I got something for you. You know, again, you're my torch bearer, and you're useful for as long as you bear the torch, and I don't have any means to replace you, which uh, totally don't exist in a game or anything, teehee. Come on now. Stop being a liability. And you know, the good thing is, if he ever dies and I happen to get something akin to necromancy, you know, I'll just bring him back and kill him again, you know? It's gonna be easy. Now, I know you can mind control enemies. I know I know that much. Which we'll be doing some later on, perhaps. But the main new thing, it's force formaturgy. You know, being a little bit of a Sith and whatnot. Uh, sir, could you... Could you, like... Sir? You're in the way of progress, boy! Careful now, here's a hammer! I pick on his foot. Ouchies! That one hurt! I disarm him. Wait. Got him. Right in the spine. Yeah, that one that one dealt some damage to me, okay? Hate to see that. Oh, yeah, I remember that room. So, um... Make sure to not pull the wrong lever. Otherwise... Wait. Otherwise... You may just happen to get yourself killed. If you know what I mean. So, what you could do, technically speaking... Uh, get a bunch of enemies into that room and just kind of fry them, you know? And that is if you're a weakling who can't rely on uh, Giga Chat magic and or a pickaxe, you see? Again in hell mode, however, this room was filled with enemies. Happy to see they had a bit of a change of heart here. Then again, it's not hell mode, it's just mode. What do we think? Eternal Abyss? It looks like Eternal Abyss to me. They don't want to fall down there. That's, uh, that's for sure. Hate to be me. Would hate to be me if I was to fall down there. What's this? Is that something or is it just... Nah, it's nothing. Just a little crack in the wall. Nothing special. But yeah, in the previous room, basically... The two levers locked or unlocked the door. And the one on the side, as you could see, activated the fire. So you could again technically lock someone in there and just like fry them. Is this the way to progress? I think that's the way to progress. So we'll go the other one first. Alright, just a little bit of a card in the way, huh? Get us out of the way, there's a bit of a safety hazard. 
I hope the other guy's coming with me. I believe this might be where we come back from, actually, not sure. I opened this. I think my light source gets stuck again somewhere. Oh well. That's what I get for relying on a peasant. Hello? I mean, I hear your torch for the wall, right? Get a move on! God damn those farmhands. Ah! Ah! Please! Ah! Uh, no! The stair! It's violating me! Alright. <clears throat> so, where were we? Right, right, yeah, just, just simple exploring. Yeah, we got some tabs on the wall here. Nothing crazy yet. Toilets. Again. They better be all empty. They better be. Alright. Moving on. Chair room. Help! Help! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> uh, chair room! The one room that is full of chairs and little cushions. Oh, nice. What if I take the cushion with me, you know, just in case I want to sit somewhere comfortably? And like, in case I fall down, I have a cushion in my inventory, so it's gonna, uh, you know, cushion the fall somewhat, so... I take a little less damage, you know, obviously. Uh, yeah, take take cushions with you to reduce any and all fall damage. It'll have to work one way or another, right? Uh, another key. I wonder what to use that key on. Hello. We got oh, dude, we got the stupid hat, the hardened leather helmet. Nice. I officially look like a dwarf mining inside of the mines, except for I'm a little tall. I'm a big dwarf. Man, I should have gone with a short stack, huh? Hey, look, it's an actual mace. You'd, lo you'd love that. Yeah, I'm a Norse dwarf, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dwarf. So you gotta pronounce it differently, you see. <laughs> You know what you can use with this helmet? You can use uh, spectacles. You know, you can have little glasses on. That's right. It's very immersive. <laughs> you good there? Finding the chairs? Are you winning at least? At least you gotta be winning, right? Okay, let's go up some. So, yeah, side rooms completed. Well, at least one of them. Uh, now, now we got another one to go. Okay. So the previous one was a little scholarly from the feel. And uh, this one is more like, ah, uh, yes. A workshop. <gasps> Health potion. I go on until uh, Brave Metal as a Roman path for Darren. Damn right. You, you can't pretend that there is one at least, you know. You can at least pretend. So, uh, again, there's, there's health potions in the game. And one of those health potions is right here. Again, there are very few. There's very few in the game. And they look like this. A jar with some blue stuff in there. Uh, the thick substance in this jar. And it's a faint glow. And it's a pungent but somehow inviting odor. Use them wisely, alright? Use them wisely. Looks tasty. Damn it, better be tasty. Oh, we also learned Bolt. We did we did do that. Uh, so we should have Coherence, right? Or are we still studying the way of Coherence? I don't want to forget it. We're getting there. It's almost... We almost know it. We almost know it. So what is it? How do I do that? Oh, yeah, we should maybe select something new. Well, I like that. Torrent. I don't know, maybe. And we're gonna be torrenting some things. Now we're gonna go for confusion right now. So how do I use those again? By the way. 
how does how does how how does one magic? <laughs> it's yo, he has a little walking cane. Open the bar with C and press the corresponding number. Reading. Nice. <laughs> Get bolted. I bolt you. Yeah, I'd fucking run if I was you as well. Honestly, I get ya. It was pretty terrifying seeing the display of sheer power. Now, how far did you run, old zombie boy? You jacket. Come on now, come on. There's only so many paths you could have gone, and I think I see you. Hey, kid, remember me? It's so good. Lots of meme potential, I suppose. Come on, don't you keep running from me. Come on. You think I don't see your brain activity? At least what remains of it? You think me a fool? Look at him run again. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy go. That Darren? Is he okay? Did you like fall over? Well, I trust you to take care of the situation if it ever escalates, so you know. There you go. You get a job now, kid. Uh, nothing here. I'm the mage dwarf, that's right. Imagine having light spells to actually light the way and then shoot lasers out of your eyes. Inevitably. Everyone knows that's the natural way light spells should evolve into. You start out with, hey, look, I can make a faint glow to, I shoot lasers. And I will kill you with those. So there you go, I've basically done the heavy lifting for bare metal already. But the guy's going up there, what if I go down here instead? Gotta check out the side avenues after all, you see. Um, did I really forgot what the main path to go is? There's, there's so many side paths too. I'll do my best to try and explore them all. As one should. Some of my illness has worsened since coming here. I often feel confused as if battling conflict, uh, conflicting thoughts. My temper keeps getting the better of me. An aggressive trait I never knew I possessed. Perhaps it is simply a response to all of that what has happened. Even so, it scares me. I don't recognize myself. I must make a greater effort to retain my composure. Mm -hmm. Wait. It's good. Because it allows me to mess the enemy up. Is that a pee bucket? Bad pen! It is! It's the bad pen! Buddy, you wouldn't believe what I just found. I found the ultimate weapon for you. Bad pen. Probably used. Just don't 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 smell it, okay? Don't smell the bad pen and you'll be fine. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's uh, Darren's endgame weapon right there. We basically won. Wait, hold on. I was hoping for the you know thing to be a little more intense when I you know shoot it with magic and whatnot. I mean, they're fighting one another. It's a free fall now. Guy with prosthetic leg or guy with stick? Who do you bet on? They both died at the same time, so sorry. The game's been rigged from the beginning, actually. Yeah, you saw right there. They, they died at the same time. Yeah, it's a draw. It's a draw, right? Oh, curious. I'm not gonna say no to that. I'm gonna have my old one in return. A cleaver? I don't know. But the cleaver's not quite like a bat pen, you see? I'd like to think the bat pen is like a whole nother level in terms of power. 
up. It's your boy. I'm in. So like some surgery room, I would imagine. Huh? Surface, but you find them down your feet. Nevertheless, something was restored. Okay. That happened. Deconstructing humanity by Alder Hanks, a medical book on human anatomy, mostly complex diagrams and surgical terminology. There are many underlining passages that encircle diagrams and uh, the section that deals with the brain. Conspicuous, to say the least. So, nothing there. Still don't have coherence. My brain is throbbing. They lose the will to live without their bodies. They seem completely bound to their mortal remains. It is just because of their lesser minds. I have attempted to sustain one with nothing left but... Gods below, what am I doing? It is horrifying. Sometimes it is as if I suddenly awake and realize what I'm that I'm fueled by rage. As if I hold these poor souls responsible for what has befallen me. So some parts of my memory have been restored. Interesting. That's so. I sense mind. I only sense Darren. Darren. The, the boy. Uh, I'm sure that's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Little skull sign we got. Yes, yeah, it's, it's whatever. Yeah, just ignore it and move on, yeah? Definitely not gonna end up in like me falling to my death back here, you know. So you want to be extra careful, okay? And if you fall down there, you die. In real life, even. That's how hard of a death you'll suffer. Now I believe there's also like a little puzzle that you need to do. Which may or may not be behind this door here. Before we go there. Let me go somewhere else first. Which is up here. Wouldn't this... Technically speaking, just... What's the point of this room? <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, here's the thing. You... Can absolutely... Go ahead... And deal with this... The timed way. Or... You're gonna go ahead... And make a... Um, questionably stable bridge. Using the benches you find laying around. So how do I rotate things again in here? Uh... R? No. E? No. Um... Oh. W-A-S-D. Gotcha. So we get real close to the pit. Okay, well, it maybe needs to be a little longer. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, that, did, that didn't quite do it. But the first one to admit that... Might have not quite done it yet there. But, you know, I mean, I was on the right track, you see. Oh, yeah, there's also... This. That, there. You okay? I lock the door. Why? Why? Why do I lock the door? Yes. Yeah, see. So now it's timed. You can absolutely just run across it. But if you fail, you see, you'll be dead. Ah. Uh, well. A little awkward. So yeah, yeah, that, that's a bit of a timed puzzle. It's, um... It's not safe. Anything but safe, I would say. Uh... Did I lock myself out of the room? Is that a degree... Is that a degree of failure I just suffered? That's very awkward, actually, not gonna lie. Um... Surely... 
There's gonna be some furniture laying around here that I can totally use for my um, nefarious purposes, right? Of um, making a makeshift bridge. Surely, right? Who's that? <laughs> we got a plank, guys. I, I mean, kind of plank. Cl close enough to a plank. <laughs> can I open my inventory and slap this in? <laughs> no. Well, let's let's see if uh, these are usable, you know, to make that uh, ghetto bridge I keep talking about. Maybe I need to get a little closer. Um, please. Let thine self be picked up. Now, again, this is like a uh, little thing you carry people on, I believe. Um... So surely it is strong enough to hold a person, right? It's, um... Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Oh, boy. You see, um... We just really don't want to fuck this up, you see? It's, um... Or if we do, we, uh... We die. We're gonna be fucking dead, man! I didn't mean to suddenly magic. Magically detect um, the brain activity of Darren. Dixon. Whomstever he may be. Okay, we, we almost got it. Now, I just make it a little more difficult for myself right here. There we go. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Now again, the, these things, they may be just a little, uh, they, they may just be, uh, they may just be long enough, you see? They might just do the trick. You know, for, uh, a uh, very much improvised bridge across the chasm. There's also, uh, the bench right here next to us, which, uh, we may use, probably. Now... Would I trust my architectural skills? No. But, um... What other choice do we have? Oh, yeah, you know, there's another way to do this, actually. I just remembered. Uh, one way that I kind of fucked up already. So, uh... It's pretty awkward, actually. I would. Well, you might be one of the only people who would. Okay, it, it, it does kind of hold. Again, I would not trust this <laughs> whatsoever. So if only I could go in here and reach that lever again. Man, I really done messed up, huh? But there was a damn man walking when he follows you. Yeah, yeah, he is. Which is why we have to uh, tell him to wait here for me. You know? It sure would be a dead man walking, however. It sure would be. And I really don't trust this. <laughs> Guys. If I die. I'll make a new character who's gonna be a dwarf, okay? Okay. You think that fits? It's gonna fall down to the abyss, isn't it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, we did one. We did one portion. All right, guys. Uh, now, now, now we, now we gotta commit. You see now, now, now we're committing. Uh -huh. Because either way we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's very cute. Very cute, not gonna lie. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's... Nerve-wracking, to say the least, yeah? One mistake. And this whole operation may just... Fall down the drain. Quite literally. In hindsight, might have wanted to take the man's torch with me. Because I really see shit all in here. However, luckily, 
Okay, so we know there's not gonna... I don't like the spike wall. So we know there's not at least a nether pit waiting for me. Okay, I'd like to think we've done the worst. Eh, my face! Yeah, there's just one simple trick you can do here. Uh, it's not a physics one. It, like, the, again, they, they really want you to use the physics of this game here. Um, so, if you angle this one properly... Hold on. It's kind of what I was meant to do earlier as well. You can kind of... Maybe with the ladder it'll work better. So basically, you can force the lever to stay down. And never actually go back up. If, if you do it right. <laughs> that is. Hold on. Hold this down. Uh, absolutely fail. At the thing I was just trying to do and successfully did a moment ago. Yeah. <laughs> patience everyone, patience. Okay, so we do this. And maybe that'll work? No. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we need to move a little to the side for this. Yeah, it needs to be angled more like this. Huh? Damn right! Damn right! That looks very stable, but... I also wouldn't bet on it too much, you see? There we go. There we go, see? Solve the mystery, just like that. Uh, well, I don't see anyone. Um, door is, however, very much locked. Is there a lever I missed? A lever somewhere? Ah, to the side here. See that? I believe we need to do the same thing again here. Uh, this time, we'll be using a chair. Which is conveniently placed back here. A chair, and what do we have? Planks? Dude, planks would have been huge earlier. I would have killed for a plank moments ago, you know? I don't see anything, I'm blind. The chair is so... Okay, there we go, the chair is there. So, if, if you do it right, the chair will be good enough to, to hold this whole lever down. Which, by the way, I haven't done good enough right there. I can use this plank. Hold on. Maybe if... Maybe this plank's gonna be good. Nice. Yeah, that plank... That plank may just do the trick. That's right. So we do this. We, um... Never mind. Sorry, my character was kind of in the way of progress there. And we're good. And we're good, everyone. And we're good. I guess a little dark story to my kineticism. To actually see the way ahead of me. Because I'd hate to fall down into a random pit. While, uh, you know, uh, trying to make my way uh, around, so. Ah, right. I see the issue with you. It's not, you know, keeping the, um, keeping the lever down or something. It's more like keeping the lever up. Hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you do that little click. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, that, that's where the game wants me to drag, I imagine. A little, little further up, maybe? Do I maybe need to stay in the way? Like, yeah, obviously we want to block it. Hmm. Right. 
thought it would stay a little longer up so I would have at least some time to put the um the ladder in place, you know. Because like this it doesn't quite work. Hold on. I I, I imagine I wanna like move it with the ladder. Yeah, no, that's not, it's not, it's not how, uh, the game wants me to do this, huh? Oh, that's me just tapping out of the game. I was right. Go up, uppies, please. Uppies. Uppies. Yeah, kinda, kinda. Huh. Yeah, yeah, just getting it, getting it, getting it. Getting it? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Camera's kind of in the way. You know, so, sort of a very, very, very getaway of uh, doing this, I suppose. Okay, listen. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't work right now. Oh, we also have another lever back here. I just realized. They're both kind of lame. What I imagine we have to do is like not only prop them up, it's um it's also having them up at the same time. Yes, yes. Hold on. If I am um, to get this wooden beam, maybe the wooden beam might be good enough to um to prop this one up. Because if I'm not mistaken, we just need one side to be actually propped properly. So, what if I make a, a tiny bit of a ramp of some sorts, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll be using, like, stakes here and whatnot, you know, just like this. So, <laughs> so the ladder can in its, um... Get our ways, um, basically. <laughs> yeah, uh, getting there, <laughs> getting there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We get those a little closer together, okay? So we do this. All right, guys, you, <laughs> you, you ready? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah. This, this is a. Machination only only someone with a true villain mindset can actually accomplish I believe here You know what I could do technically Though I again successfully failed at doing that Uh-huh All right, so here's the idea What we what we could do Is have the ladder be here true magic truly yeah truly what we could do is have the ladder be there. Hold on. Be be a little more to this side here. A little more to this side, maybe. And... Okay, well, it's a little too much to this side now. Shit. Listen. I... I want to do a something, okay? I want to do a certain something. And this ladder is simply not cooperating. Ah, uh, uh, please! Oh, God, I'm stuck in the ladder! You can uh. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, as I was saying, as I was saying... Um, that's also not what I meant to do. Uh-huh. Alright, so. So, guys, guys. Guys, I, I, I think I'm ready. I think I'm here. Uh, we, we take ladder. We take this. Wait for it to turn around, and then we drag it. No, 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 no not quite. I, I, I see, I see it wiggle. I see it wiggle a little. Okay, don't, no, don't, don't stop, stop. Bad, bad ladder. <laughs> bad, bad ladder. Okay, angle it again. But you get the idea, right? I'm, I'm trying to like. Finnick it, so it's gonna go up a little, maybe, but, like, it doesn't seem to want to. Okay, what if I introduce Plank to the mix? I know. What if we get this bad boy in? Hold on, hold on. I, I, I drag you on the floor. 
I want you to be below the lever. <laughs> yeah, lever went for the... Yeah, it went right for the nuts trying to kill me! Eh. Eh. There's so much trash already, right? Surely, some of it is bound to stick. Okay. Different idea. Different approach. Um... I got this, guys. I got this. T t turn around, please. Move. So, we, again, make a bit of a makeshift ramp. Um, preferably out of the same beams, right? Preferably out of the same stuff, so it's... It kind of works. Okay, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna angle this like this, sort of. So it, like, reaches the lever. And then... Then we have wooden beam here, right? Then I use myself to go in between. Open this up. Push it up. Break my nuts. As I successfully get castrated. On the wooden beams. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I just did a split on top of this. So, um... A bit of a higher pitched voice. I'm gonna have to reconsider my approach. <laughs> okay, wait. But I, 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 I think it'll work. I think it'll actually work. Uh, I just need to make enough room for my guy to actually fit in there. Okay. Yes, he did. He did fit in. He does fit in. Now take the plank. Put it there. Turn around. Make the levers go up. Okay, now, now you just need to cooperate with me. Please? You make yourself comfortable, okay? Make yourself very comfortable. You got this, man. <laughs> All you need to do is walk between the two beams, man. <laughs> Literally all you need to do, man. Okay, now walk. Walk. No. Yes. Walk further. Keep going. And why would you stop? <gasps> what a guy, you guys. What a guy. Listen, man. All you need to do... You're getting bullied by wood. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Give me that plank. Listen, man. Listen. Lever goes up. You move against the stupid wood. I'm trying to achieve anyways. I'm sort of lost here. Lever has to stay up. That's what we're doing. It's a long plank that can reach both at once. I don't know if it's... I mean, like, I, I believe if we get this one to stay up, you know? Well, uh... We'll sort of be in the clear overall, you know? Uh, because I believe we just need to pull the other one up normally and we'll be good. Almost. <laughs> I guess almost. Okay, now if my guy if my guy wouldn't start climbing on top of this, we good. Yeah, like it's it, it just doesn't want to reach. Huh? That's odd. Right, right. Most place these inconvenient levers everywhere. I, I don't know. I don't know why they did that either. Like, yeah, you need you need like two people for this, but let's be honest, Darren is a little brain dead. He would probably get himself and me both killed, you know? So <laughs> so there's that, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing, Shima? Welcome. We're, uh... We're doing the lever puzzle. <laughs> this? Staying up, but how? That's the true question. I take ladder. I step down from the ladder. Ladder, you know, it's, it's a nice little thing, you know, to have, but, um... It's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> 
Okay, now I successfully propped the beam up vertically. But again, it's, it's not... It's, it's not... Please pick it up. <laughs> cool. Alright, so... Two beams, one lever. Lever go like this. Lever go down immediately. I place down lever. Maybe. Maybe not. Ladder killing me. L l <laughs> ladders out for blood. Because we tried having like some wooden beams be basically in the way and using our body to like move it up, but clearly that doesn't want to work. Would have been fantastic if it wouldn't have fallen away just dead. You can imagine this. A world with a wooden beam successfully props up a lever here, you know? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be beautiful. But all they do is we'll fall back down. Now, another thing we can use is rock. We can use boulder back here, right? I can move ya. This time I can move you. I don't think I can move you. Hmm. I declare war on dungeon levers, so I brown switch for fellow soldiers. I'm fighting the good fight, let me tell ya. I'm fighting the good fight. <laughs> At least I'm trying to. Okay, I, ca I, ca I can't use those there. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, those dungeon levers are pretty clever, you know, with, uh, with how finicky they want to be, you see? But yes, welcome welcome to my battle here against the lever. We did a lot of physics in our time. But this one... My god, it just works differently, you know? Just look at this! Okay, well, um, if I... Okay, if, if I maybe have the ladder... Be in the middle. Like, this is extremely convoluted just for one fucking ladder. But, um, no. Not what I wanted to pick up. I guess it still works. If we have this, right? Blocking the lever. Whenever it'll go down. Then we get creative, yeah. Try to, man. Better stop it. I want you to spin around again to to face a little differently. Okay, okay. Huh? Almost. If only the ladder would be slightly further up on top, and then if it only would start falling down a little bit. Yeah. It's not enough the letter was to say if some force was to be introduced there. No? Not quite? You know it's possible. You know you, you know you can do this. Oh fuck. And what we do now is <clears throat> And what we do now is Hell yeah. We did it. <laughs> we made our makeshift contraption and it worked. Now it better have been worth it. Uh, curious, you know, one that we already have. A mace, one that we already have, technically speaking. Uh, surely there's other good stuff waiting for me here, like... A jug? <laughs> nah, like, guys, come on, just, just gotta be something else, like... Button, right? Ouch. What'd that do? Sound like it came from way over here, yeah. Did we come from here or did we not come from here? Oh no, we clearly were not here before. A bunch of wall spikes? Mm hmm. So... Where are we going? What is this? Don't tell me there's another lever somewhere. <laughs> Please don't. I'm through with levers. I swore to never touch a lever again. Uh, there's a light. There's a bunch of benches here as well. Huh. I'm just gonna put one back there. Also, I noticed that we uh, did level up, kinda. 
We're getting confusion currently, so that's that. Um, I mean, range, ranged combat's a lie. I'm not sure what these do, actually. Points will not match continuity. Those do nothing, right, Des? You said those do nothing? Uh, continuous bindings are required. Require less focus. Yeah, that's if you, like, have something ongoing. Mental focus more quickly. You're less easily distracted or interrupted while shaping a binding. You're more resistant to metal uh, intrusion and effects. I guess if I were like metal, it's less likely for successful casts and whatnot. Mm hmm. While performing other tasks. Volition. Hmm. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Then if the swings. Which are there. Dual wield could be nice, I guess, but I'm not much of a dual weirdo. Uh, wielder. Um, let's go with maneuvering inside of the armor. Anyways, back uh, back to what we were doing. So, we got a lot of wooden stakes here. We got a lot of wall spikes. There's gotta be a lever somewhere, right? The game's not done throwing levers my way yet. Where are they at? Be honest. That's, that's how I light my way, by the way. There's a pit. One that I do not quite trust. Man, I wish I had the torch with me right now. Sure do. Frankly, I trust the pit extremely little. So, uh... I'm gonna try and go ahead and pick this up from the floor. If I might. So what I meant to do, now what I meant to do again. Yeah, we're gonna have those two wooden beams here. Again, if only it wouldn't be so dark in here, that'd be nice. If only I, I have some sort of light source with me, you see. Yeah, I hate this. Um... <laughs> And I have a very, very strong feeling that, um, that platform over there is gonna simply, um, conveniently cease being a platform the moment I step on it. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the lever we'd have to reach to get an easy route. Then we'll almost send 10k in total. Look at that. <laughs> okay, well... I don't like the fact that it's so dark in there. Um, because it makes working in there a little tad harder, you see? It makes seeing a bit difficult, you see? Now, yes, I could pretend to go back to Darren. Did, can I go back to him? Is there any... Shortcut we might have unlocked. This... I, I walked against something. Help. Uh, okay. I don't know what just happened. Right then. Uh, yeah, well, moving on. <laughs> Mo moving on from whatever just happened there. It's fine, I just ran against a gate. Yeah, that's us doing the lever puzzles. But yeah, we, we, we'd we need a certain someone's torch, which um, I don't think we'll be able to get just like this, you see? Now, there is a quick way through. Don't fall beneath me. Don't fall beneath me. Don't fuck this up in any way, shape, or form. Darren? <laughs> Could you... Could you come to me real quick? Uh, fo fo follow me. Follow me. Uh, now, you, you need to make this jump, sort of, okay? Uh, that's, um... Now, you see, there's another lever. Uh, I, 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 cu I could do the thing for you, okay? Now, um... Oh, my God. That, um... 
that I'm back here doing this again. It's gonna be safe. Don't stomp. Darren? Darren, my boy! He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's just fighting a zombie. He'll be okay. Darren, whatever you do, do not fall into the pit of eternal abyss death. Alright, buddy? Just... I'm holding down the lever. You got him. You got him. Just... Whatever you do... Okay, now, now, you're really making this difficult. Darren? I'd, lo I'd love to help you, but... Please step away from the pit. Like, go back. Leave. Just walk away. Like, don't fight on top of it, please. Okay, now, now, now we wait. Oh, well, he died anyways. Uh, well, anyways, c can I, can I have your torch, please? Kinda need it right now. I think it's... Some, something some, somewhat urgent. Um, well, enjoy this place back here. I I will be I'll, I'll be leaving again. Darren, no! What are you doing, you madman? <laughs> Fucking idiot! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's doing great, Plas. I'm sure I'm sure it's doing great. Um Maybe I should have told him to stop following me there. Um Yeah. Yeah, he'll 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 be fine. We'll we'll find him in the later levels, okay? We'll just find him in the later levels of the dungeon. Where did the floor go? <laughs> we'll we'll find him later down there. Uh, you know, he, he was useful while he was alive. Uh, then he stopped being alive and that also stopped having him be useful to me. Um, yeah, yeah, that's how those things work, you see. Now, it's a little awkward. I'm gonna lie. A t wee bit awkward that he did die there. But um, on the bright side, we do have the torch, you know? And there's no way I am trusting this platform here. There's just no way. Ha! Huh. This will result in my termination. If I do walk it. We take this and there's another plank back there. Dude, there's like... No way this thing's gonna hold my weight. No way at all. If this... Is not going to kill me if I step on top. Uh-uh. I, I I do not I do not trust this. I also do not trust the way I constructed this right now. Okay, now we take this one. Kind of place it in the middle here. Uh, this stick, by the way. I don't think it reaches all the way. Sure. Um, can we get more planks? <laughs> yeah, can we? Can we get some more planks that feel a little safer with more planks? You see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me, give me, give me those long boys here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel a little safer this way. You know? Yeah. Looks good enough. I don't trust this. <laughs> I I do not trust my construction. Hold on. I have you be there. If only I had more of those long planks that we were seeing there. Uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know. Uh, this is not gonna help me. Uh, this is, however. Pick it up, drag it. Please? Please, I'm begging you. Okay, what about bench? What about bench? I take bench. I move bench. Bench... Could be good enough. Could not. We'll see the beauty of bench in a moment. 
Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it looks it looks okay. I'm gonna lie, it looks it looks okay. But um, it's more like this part that worries me, like towards the end there. Yeah. If I could happen to have a bench over there, maybe. Look, uh, either I I will absolutely throw and die here. Oh, this is actually making it worse, huh? Oh, here goes nothing, guys. Whew. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to do the same thing again. <laughs> See, there's no easy way out. Room with sticks. Bunch of tiny planks in there. Right. Yeah, obviously, you know, levers back there. And, you know, some conveniently located planks or two. Uh, did I see what's back there? I don't think so, right? Do you think I can get my torch back if I try and reach for it from all the way back here? From all the way back here? Uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll just uh take these uh work utensils with me real quick, you know? Mm, yes, yes. I'll just do that instead. Well, um, we'll get a torch from the other side, you know. I don't want to end up like Darren. If that's even his real name. Okay, so, that's the bridge-making kit, right there. So we start off with a very, very lovely uh, central plank, you see. And then, then we add some stuff on the side for some stability, you see. Gonna make it even lovelier. Now this one's a little short, I... I'm questioning whether to trust it, but... Still. And then, then we add this here in the middle for some safety. Okay. And then... Then we walk over it. And it's fine, it's fine, it's okay. It's, it's, it's nice and stable. Just making sure that there's nothing lurking in here for me. You know, to, uh, to mess up. Okay, so. This door open. Unsurprisingly, it is not. Uh, well, there was this door back here, which I imagine would open. I'm lurking and I'll mess it up. <laughs> well, yes, sir, sir, that mess up lurking there. How you doing, Crowbar? How you doing, man? Welcome to some Exanima, which uh, recently got a content upda uh, update and we got ourselves... Uh... Caught up in a physics puzzle. And I'll try, try not to die any percent challenge right now. Uh, turn it? Twist it? Pop it. Okay. I said, uh, companions as well. Yeah! 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 No, they're, they're, f they're doing well. Uh, they're just hanging out at the bottom of a hole right now. And, um, I'm sure that they're, they're more than safe, you know? Because really, what, what, what could possibly go wrong at the bottom of a pit, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, exclusive, yeah, exact, exactly, yeah, yeah, you, you get it, you get it. Uh, I am missing something and I don't know what. <laughs> like, this almost looks like a thing you would stand on. Uh, so, okay, I I was fine the entire time, but now I'm not. Now, now, now it's actually gonna open up the pit. Let's see. Good thing we prepared, you know? Damn you, physics. They're trying to kill you, man. Always will, always, always are. Okay, 
There's the crate thing. The lid. Now, do we think our lid's enough? May need a little bit additional weight. Okay. Well, you. Well, now the pressure's really on. Cool. So, do you open? So, what's the point of this? <laughs> you don't open. Uh, huh. This remains closed for some reason. But was there like another, um, thing back here? No. Was this it? Yes. The bench! No! Well, this does open up if I do this. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. I use El Plank Grande back here. And put you on top of platform. If uh, the game would allow me to. Any moment now? It just... Stop resisting! Please? There we go. Okay. Now with the pitch to hell open, I can go here and I can pull lever and I open this lever. Okay, very, very lovely. Now we unlocked the normal people path as I ram myself against some trash and uh, scoot down the hill. See, what I would like personally is uh, to go ahead and um, get my torch back. Thank you, game. All right. All right, we, we guys, we got this, we got this, okay? Now let's just not run into the spike wall, which I'm pretty sure is there for a reason. The game knew some people would run into it, right? It had to, it had to know. It had to be aware. Does this door, uh, door in the back open if I do this? Yes. It does. I see. Um. Yeah. Uh. So. Give me a moment. <laughs> give, give me, give me a little bit of a moment there. You know. I just the whole thing by uh, jamming stools and stones in the doors. You know that. That that's. Actually, perfectly fine. Yeah, that's absolutely something you could do. <laughs> you know that that I can respect, a hundred percent. But what if? You know, but what if we do this? I mean, obviously, right? Uh, it's gonna stop being a problem. I put the torch on top. Dude, we can use the cushion. It was enough. The little pillow was enough. Unironically. I, I knew I knew taking this pillow with me would do the trick, you know. I, I knew I knew it would. <laughs> ah yes. You know I wouldn't be quite against jamming the door here, however, you see. Do you think if I was to um Hold on, let me let me take these bad boys here. And let's see if if I was to hypothetically. I see, I see. Hold on. If I take you, surely a little plank like this is gonna be enough to jam the door, right? So, what could possibly go wrong? Mm, to no one's surprise, <laughs> you know. To to absolutely no one's surprise back there. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So, uh, what options do we have? We got, again, Spike Ball, the exclusive club. We got a torch in our hand, because I'd like to see a little more. We got Long Beam. Uh, long Beam. Let's see how Long Beam would do. If I... 
go over yonder and say I long beam slightly to the side like this yeah yeah getting there get, yeah it's, it's good enough it's good enough now I don't trust my physique <laughs> so we sure we can't move this one at all like it looks extremely manipulable if that's even a word maybe I just made one up I don't know not a native speaker after all I, I I may make up words as I go, right? It's it's what I do. We have um, spike. We also have um, it's maybe sufficiently long plank. Maybe. Maybe maybe just long enough, you know. It looks rather short. But it has character, you know? I like this. I like that one plank. Alright. Throw you down. Throw myself down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just burn your face off while you're at it, you know? Good. <laughs> good, good. It's really weird that we can't pick up that one other plank on the floor here. Like the other rather long one. But oh well. Suppose here we are at last, you know. So again, I'd be um I'd be happy to not join Darren down at the bottom of this, so It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now the one bridge I trust a little more. So much in fact that I just run over it. Okay, cool. We did it! We uh, managed to walk into the next room. Can't wait to die now. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to uh, to eat shit and die. And then I run into this one hole and kill myself. Accidentally, of course. Let me guess. Wow, it actually stays down. That's weird. I'm used to the doors staying shut. Yeah. Well, so much for that, I suppose. Any brain activity in here? I don't sense anything. Yet. But I do see a spike wall. An interesting little labyrinth. I know. I remember hell mode again. Being in here. During hell mode. And all I can say is I wasn't alone in here. You know? Dude, imagine continuously falling down like I am. Yeah, yeah. Suffice to say I was not the only guy who was chilling in this place. Now, how could this possibly go wrong if I don't block this lever, you know? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, okay, we'll get a beam, we'll get a spike wall here. We got a... Bunch of nothing, we got me scanning for brain activity, which... Conveniently, there is nothing. <laughs> it's a little too close to home though, but yeah. Uh, that's the way back, I imagine. Obviously timed. Huh. Where do I wanna go? Multiple choice. Hmm, yes. Yeah, spike wall, this and that. A wall back here. Or a door redder. Again, don't see how that could possibly go wrong. If I ignore them levers there. Sure, I can take the wheelbarrow, right? Am I too meager to do that? A meek warrior? Unable to pull? This thing a little closer to me? Hello? This, this the place with the good stuff inside? Is this it? Out of my way, sir. You will kill me otherwise. Hmm. 
I don't know if it's the good place. It's a place, that's for sure. This stool wants me dead. Just like the beam almost did. Fork. <laughs> uh huh. Can confirm. It is, in fact, a fork. Well, there's very little in here. So I shall move on. <laughs> uh, something tells me that's not the room of the good loot. But if we ever need a fork, we got it. Oh, yes. Well, I, I do remember this one. So I gotta press a sequence of buttons, right? And if I do it wrong, I will get grilled alive. Like, I will get actually air fried. <laughs> isn't, isn't that it? Like, you, you always need to, like, hit the ones opposite to one another. There's a note somewhere, I believe. Somewhere's a note that uh, explains that to you. So that should be in this room, then. Ah. Candle. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's not what I thought it would be. What? There was a note in here. There's like... Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, when you press the levers to not get killed, uh, you gotta press these levers in that order. Uh, you're welcome. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm that's me, I want to actually open up the barrel. No, nothing. Hmm. And this is just some soap, huh? And there's indeed no ladder we can find in here. I put a chair up there. And just so I feel a little safer. I'm telling you, man, the chair is out for blood. No notes found here. Maybe you find a note somewhere else, you know? <laughs> now, in a desperate attempt, which may or may not uh, yield any results, I take this thing, drop it on top of me, move slightly away, <laughs> pick it up again, it's really crusty. There we go. Now, <clears throat> again, most likely not gonna do anything if far show up, far show up, you see. Uh, I will be dead. Yeah, there's no way a piece of wood will protect me, but still. <laughs> it gives me a little bit of confidence, at least, you know. <laughs> Hello? Can I not open these yet? No. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to, man. I don't want to. We're gonna get killed. I so this could have an update. Yeah, it got, it got. It did sure get an update. One big one at the very least. Hmm. See, I'm being a little bit of a chicken right now. Because I know what that one thing does if I press the button is wrong, and I'm not sure how the sequence is actually, you know? Hmm. I mean, this member band, I mean, I guess that'd be cool, but it's not on the priority list. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, they first want to do the formaturgy stuff, actually, you know, finish, like, the dungeon and, s and, and so on. And maybe then add things like those to the game. But I'm happy the way it is, like, like yeah, this member band would be neat, but, like, hmm, not something I crave necessarily yeah I would yeah I would prefer it to be finished as well so I'm, I'm seeing if I can remember how the fuck this thing works again do you like I mean I know you click the opposite one but is it like if you go here you go there and then you go down here like it always has maybe you always need to skip one is that how it works Maybe two? I forgot, man! I don't know where the damn note is. I don't know where it is anymore, man. I don't have it on me, that's for sure. And yeah, the other room has absolutely nothing. Hmm. I believe that's where we want to go into, but obviously, door kind of locked. 
Right. So. I'm gonna play the gentleman face. I throw the empty bottle away. You gotta have some new magic unlocked? Yeah. I do. I'm gonna wait for myself to heal up a little. So if I fuck up, I might have a chance to run away before I actually die die, you know? So, uh... <laughs> there's, there's, there's at least a chance of survival, you know? So, yeah, but yeah, we, we did unlock some of the new magic in Exanima here. As, uh, like, uh, the, um... It's the, it's the, uh, Force Formaturgy. And... It's, it's okay. It's okay, it's like... Nothing too crazy, really. So... Just, just, just that. So, you know, it's, it's like... Basically, uh, let me show you. So we got unlocked the, um, horse. Also, they added body, energy, light, and displacement. Mind we already know. Um, body, I can imagine being something like necromancy. Um, energy being like actual fireball. Light being like, more well, light. And, um, you know, this being like, I move objects around, kinda. Although force is dead as well. Like, you have bolt. We can like shoot a bolt of energy to someone. You you have um, blast, which is like the bolt, but like bigger AOE, but maybe weaker, something like that. It's um, it's curious, you know, it's curious. But um, we'll, we'll see. Anyways, I seem to be fully healed, so if I do fuck up, I'll be fine. Okay, I pick button. I'm still alive. I'm gonna try skipping two of them each. So one, two. One. Two. This. I think I'll only get fright. Once I press the back button in the middle. Then it should be this one. Maybe this. Okay. Well... Okay, okay, so yeah, it is basically skip two of those, luckily, uh, like I wasn't sure if it's like skip one, skip two, or if it's like the complete opposite side of things. Whew, okay, well, I'm happy. It's good, it's good, alright, good, we made it, we, we are alive, we're in one piece, we're not cooked. Changing a tire? I need some help. <laughs> Can I help you? So we got some extremely rusty looking uh, bell hook. Got a bit of a sword, which is also just as rusty. It's like changing a tire, yeah, I mean, I suppose. <laughs> it's, um, except for when you fail changing a tire, you know, you don't get cooked alive, usually. It's like a little, little bit of added pressure, like this is what the game does pretty well, it really no, it's such to set you under pressure, you know? It's like, yeah, if you die, you, you will you will have to do or redo a lot of it. In a sense, no mind. This is the way deeper down, isn't it? Yeah, 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 that's where you go deeper. There's not a chance you could. I mean, what? Yeah, I mean, there, there is a chance you could still die. Yeah, of course. But, um... Again, like, like it, th that's what I'm saying, right? Like, th that's part of the pressure in the game. It does pretty well. And now... Oh, it's not where I thought I'd end up, actually. <laughs> uh, let me just pick up my pickaxe. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be going back real quick, by the way. Hey, kid. Don't do anything rash. Eh. Dude, I fucking missed him, alright? Can I like blast? And stay down! You fool! You got yourself a nice little two-handed sword there now, don't ya, Mr. Zombie? Don't ya now? 
Um, Hamon has obviously cast aside our agreement. He is sending far too many down here, and I've lost all contact with him. What is he trying to do? One of these wretches confessed that he was told to seek treasure. Someone will notice all the missing people. And what if one finds me? While well, I sleep, I no, longer have, I no longer feel safe here. I have locked the doors, but I should venture further and look for something more secure. The way to Darren from level 2 gate uh, is still waiting for me at the pits. Oh yeah, Darren's waiting for me at the pit as well. Um, except for he might have slipped into it. It's a little bit of a difference there with my version of Darren. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you too much right now. It's it's been, It's been a hard minute I played this. But uh, what I do know I want to do is go back and explore the place again. Kill Darren? No, no, I did not kill Darren. Um, it's more like Darren killed himself, actually. So, uh, that was pretty pog. But we're gonna replace Darren eventually anyways. You see, with like, uh, wacky, mind-controlled, mind-broken zombies, you see? It'll be fine. I've been through hell mode, you see? And in hell mode, you don't get any friends. You only get a wheelbarrow like these here. There we go. See? Got it nicely out of control. Exactly. Love to see how he killed his own friend back there. Look, as long as I don't take red damage, I'm happy, you see? That's good. Um, but they uh, didn't update the map uh, item for the level changes in the update. Oh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. Shame to see that they didn't update the maps for the different dungeon layouts now, you know? That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty harsh. Oh, the sunshine. Thank you for the uh, follow. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We uh, just did our puzzle time here, so we're going back into the whole fighting. Slowly but surely easing ourselves into it. Again, I do remember... What's his name? The, um, that one fiend with that, with those long claws, right? So the labyrinth we've been through earlier. Uh, with all the levers and whatnot, before you had to change the tire, so to speak. Like, uh, in that place, I remember being the, um... What's this called? Sir, I believe? Is that his name? Sir? Something like that. I just remember him being in there um, with Hell Mode, which is again the last time I did play this game. Isn't that where you've. No, it's not where you find Darren. Similar, but not quite. But yeah, it's. Um, yeah, from level 2 up, you mean? So. Hmm. Ray couldn't tell ya. All I know is I've been in this place before. Now, I do know that there's some bits and pieces of the area that I've not gone through yet. That I do know of for sure. I also believe that um, there's a certain item I'd like that is in level 2, if I'm not mistaken. You know, one that allows me to stop or me to wield a torch. We'll see. I, I, I thought it was in level 2 at least. A little bit. Is there the content in your commentary? This game makes me laugh. Yeah, it's great, right? Yeah, the game is the game's a lot of fun with the um, with the quirky physics it has going on and so on. You know, just like putting down a chair and just stumbling over it. Breaking your neck and dying due to that. It's very lovely. I feel a growing resentment for Faven. On the other, uh, on the one hand, I wish to please him, to impress him, but such thoughts then lead me to anger. I once believed there was a friendship between us. Now, I think perhaps it was based on naught but common interest. His disregard for all things other than his single-minded purpose has hurt us. It has put us all in difficulty and danger. I was always feared, but I was also respected. To be driven from my own home by peasants. It sucks to be that person. Can't relate to that one. 
But yeah, again, I appreciate it a lot, and you know, those things go a long way. You know, so I, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you enjoyed working. Oh, dude, please take the box with you. Now, you know why I want to take the box with me so I can slap the keys in here? So those keys are not going to crowd my inventory. Screw it, even that one parchment paper we got. And my little pipe. You never know when you could use a pipe. A uh, stick. Hammer, stick. Those can go away. A little ladder shield. Won't need that. Bell hook. I, I suddenly moved on. We now have a two-handed sword. And we'll see how long that'll stay with us, though. But for the time being, it's good enough. Get a little bit of a drain now. Anybody in the toilet? Good. Would have been really awkward if we found someone like sitting there contemplating life. <laughs> you know, inconveniently would disturb him. Alright, well, doesn't seem to be too much. Now, there's the caves, right? There's the cave section in this level. But don't ask me how to get there. <laughs> I must always check the toilets for toilet loot. I know, I know. I've been doing that. All I found was some little brown nuggets. <gasps> <laughs> Confused memory surface, but you find them down in fear. Never dies, something was restored. Binding of the Dead by Lens Fendrick. The pages of this book are stuck together and ruined by copious amounts of blood. Well, clearly someone couldn't take care of their books. Down with you. Imagine having blood be smeared all over your book. Gotten by Amy Corrin. A scholarly book about memory and uh, cognizance. What we forget and why we forget it. How we choose to make a history of ourselves regardless of the facts. How we are defined by the wholly unreliable and subjective things we call memory. So far the results are disappointing. I suppose I should have expected as much after the initial dramatic progress. I am seeing some improvement, but I w but I feel as though I need a change in direction to really go further. If only poor Pepin was still with me, exchanging thoughts with him would benefit me greatly. Pepin. Oh nice, the map! Pug! Slap that in here! And Charcoal! Now let me open... door. Cool, so, uh, let's look at this very nicely crafted map. So we want to be down here, that's the caves. Uh, this looks like the maze we've been through, if I had to take a guess. And uh, way down, uh, there should be a long hallway. I think that's the one we took, maybe? Hard to tell right now. Another cave section on the top though, and a way down over here. But that's not the way down we found, I believe. I think we found a different exit. Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna pee, quite literally. Uh, move and manipulate distant objects, because that means I have confusion here. Confusion should allow us to, you know, confuse the enemy, fight each other and so on. So that's good. Uh, this room doesn't say anything to me. Hmm, where am I? Let's walk around some. So, we got long hallway. Long hallway, two rooms on top. Adjoining to a kind of L section. L section. Um, hallway. Two rooms on top. Maybe? L section, yeah? So if I was to go... I this map. It infuriates me. Yep. Yep. Well, then again, this could be this room. If it ends up in a big... Nice. <laughs> if it ends up in a big square room, then I know where we are. Very big room. To be fair. Wait! Here, maybe? Here maybe because this is like the long section we took earlier like you go around the corner you take a long straight shot like a really long one 
So it could be this. And... Is that a door? No, it's just a wall. And... Yeah, no, this is the way down, huh? Hmm. However... And not all is lost. We found a entrance into the cavern. Sort of the place I wanted to be originally. And again, you can find some really neat loot if you look around the place and happen to remove certain obstacles in the way. Uh, maybe I can give you an example of what I mean very soon. Or not. You know? Okay, I know now where we are. This should have been maybe this? No, this section. This is the section. It had to be, right? Am I tripping? <laughs> it's either at the bottom or it's the top one. It's one of those two. I mean, this could be like the hallway that we use, but not, not really. Maybe it was this? Maybe it was this. Yeah, that checks maybe sort of out. Hmm. We'll assume we're down in the bottom left cavern right now, okay? We'll just assume that for the time being. We'll assume this. Okay, it's, it's an assumption we're making, but, you know. Then again, if it was this cavern at the bottom, clearly there would be... A bit of a different way to go. Which was not. So we must be on the top. <laughs> no, we have to be on the top. Exit here, mine here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's a the long hallway. There's a the big room. We've been down here. There's the two other rooms. The L-shaped room we were in before. We found a map somewhere down here. Okay, so we're here. We're gonna leave over there. Okay, okay. Perfectly fine now. Orientation restored. So I want to paint the caves at the bottom of visit real quick. Okay. One at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it did look like it. And it is. And I just wanted to make doubly sure. So yeah, I go down. It's a little smeared as well. I take the left, go down here. Take the right, go down here. And keep going down. Okay. Well, let's see if that's actually going to work now. Shall we? I follow the hallway to the end. And I go down just like that room with a little circle at the end. Or like a spherical room. Yes. Of the kinds of systems from maps and games. Where you actually have to figure it out yourself. It's novel. It's novel. You don't see it too often anymore. And then we go down. We just keep going down. Yeah, 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 I, th I think I get, I get where the game's trying to get me here. Also, isn't there a door back here that we, uh, didn't try opening? Any of the keys work? That worked. That did work. Hello? We got a contact. This is sword. Nope. Not what, not what I meant to do, but fair enough. Cues for quick cast. But a compass, do you any uh, uh, good getting uh, through this? Eh. Depends. I suppose. It uh, wouldn't be... It would, it would certainly help navigating. That's for sure. It would help navigating. 100%. But, um... I wouldn't also call it essential. So to speak. Well, we got a whole nother batch of rooms that I'd just like to explore real quick. So again, we can go down further, but there's more in level one to be had. Okay, guys, any any poop loot? Any poop loot? No poopy loot? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, level one actually has a lot of stuff to itself. So, again... Probably the best to actually check it all out. That's a chest. Uh, we got a we got a little collar, which I don't think we can wear. But uh, then again, I don't think I want to wear a collar. Poop loot, woo! <laughs> yeah, man, I love poop loot. Poop loot's love. 
Poop loot fuels me with joy. How convenient that this guy's waiting for me because he's basically brain dead. Get stabbed. Get slashed. And get dealt with. What's this we found? What's this? Oh, like a chest piece. Hmm. Of course. Some random guy. Didn't have much on him. A skeleton bathing. Good. Gotta make sure those bones are clean. Bleached, even. Oh, well, let's see what's in room number... I almost count off the room number. What's this? Broken disc. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna... Keep the tear, I guess. You never know. Maybe there's a whole puzzle where you need to put a disc together and if you... Oh, my God! Look at it! It fits together perfectly. It's great. Now, now all I need is some adhesive, you know? And we got this. Did I see a scroll back there? <laughs> Was it just like some lore? Maybe some bottle lore? The amount of stuff just key, uh, uh, kept me, uh, keeps me uh, that I thought would do something in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like red herrings, you mean? Yeah, there's a few of them. <laughs> hey, if nothing else is a unique item, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. Hell yeah, I am. Okay, can I open you? No. But hey, sir. How about you sit down real quick, okay? How did I miss that? We'll just do it this way then. <clears throat> Gotta make sure he's dead, you see. I can only imagine the reason for this place to exist. It must have been an escape route for a king in the form of a mate so others can't follow him. Hmm, hmm. I see. Yeah, I mean... Could be. I mean, there's a lot of infrastructure, so clearly people actually were meant to live in here, right? Like, like there's just toilets, there's like little kitchens and whatnot, you know, a bit, bit more akin to a bunker, I would almost say. Can we do anything here? There's a house for the guys just killing it. It's just, it's just that, you know, just that, plain and simple. Yeah, you know, just a little murder house, you know, that's about it, mm, yes. Doesn't seem like there's too much. Can't really open these either. But yeah, it seems like a lot of rubbish to me. Doesn't seem like there's a lot. But yeah, it's um, there's a lot of infrastructure, there's a lot of prisons. There's mazes for sure. And there's a little bit of everything, kinda. Which is interesting. So yeah, we walk down here, we walk down there, and then we went into these rooms? Or were we down here? And then we went into these rooms. Yeah, this might be the room. Yeah, this is the prison. This is where we are. So yeah, that's the dead end, so we're gonna go further down. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. 10 out of 10 mental labyrinth approved. Dude, I mean... <laughs> not wrong! Okay, so yeah, we go... Dinner? We go further down? Yeah, that's the, that's the pub. So that's like the adjoining area. Oh yeah, that is that is not wrong. I, I kind of went the side route. I never really fully committed to taking this path, did I? Yeah, I don't... I think I did. No, actually, you know what I did do? Hold on. This is this. I went down... This route? I, I just know I went a different route. I think. And now I'm questioning it. Hmm. Because if you go back here, there was another area veiled in darkness. Never mind, I... I guess, yeah, no, this, this must have been it then, maybe. Well, whatever, let's just move on. Let's get whatever we're here to get. We have a dark area. 
Yes, no, we've been here. You know, the place where we can fry people. A oh, hi there. A oh, hi, Mark. Um, would you mind playing dead for me? Good. Now let's actually make you dead, shall we? You should get a swing off. You got him, right? We got him now, for sure. Okay. And I'm surprised since there's also words of uh, demonstration, which means throwing someone out of the window. Hmm. I hear footsteps on the top. I see the one causing the footsteps right here. And stay down! Anyone else? Let's try and sense his mind. Don't sense any mind. Okay. Yeah, so, it was this place where we had like a dark tunnel. And it's in this place we didn't continue going deeper into the darkness. Uh, which we're gonna remedy real quick by going into said darkness. I believe it was down here. Sure was. Think that's what leads into the caves. Actually. Yep, that's the cave. So we're in the bottom cave now. Opposite to the other, you know, adjoining area. Going this way leads in a, so to speak, dead end. Kinda. I believe there's also like a chasm of death. Which we're standing right next to. So watch your footwork. We do not want to fall down. That was arguably a little more concerning as did I do hear footsteps there. If I see an enemy, I will drop my torch down on the floor and fight them with all I got. And also, check this out. You move the rocks to the side. And there may just almost be something hidden, you know? You go here. And we'll shove some rocks around, and what's this? Is there something hidden in here? Hold on. Little crate. With horn. That's right. Like ores and gems? Not quite. More like a dagger. That's ornate. Huge balance? Very good slashing damage and thrusting damage compared to the sword which does unironically less. I you know. The dagger is actually better than the sword in terms of damage. It's ornate, so... They usually tend to be better, so... You can, you can swing quickly. And obviously what you want to do is the stabbing motion, right? Get get a lot of speed there. Way less range, exactly. Way less range. So much less range. But um yeah, that's that's like that's like the conundrum here. So we have way less range, but we really want to get into people's faces. Now the dagger that dagger is gonna be extremely useful to us, alright? Um, we'll need that dagger later. Believe me, we'll need it. There is, um... So range is a finicky thing in this game. If you have a long stick with a blade or like a hammerhead on the um, tip, you know? You have a lot of range. But if someone gets really close to you, you can't hit them with the top bit, you know? You can only hit them with the stick. Barely does damage. If you have a dagger, you know, you can stab the shit out of them and they can do anything unless they distance themselves from you again. Sure, using version versus bad pen swinging chance? Dude, yeah, tell me about it. The bad pen actually kind of fucks, not gonna lie. So this game, uh, dungeon crawler only? No. Uh, this game has two game modes. One is the dungeon crawler, which is what we're playing. It also has magic in here. And then there's the arena mode. Now, arena is what you expect. You are a gladiator. And inside of the arena, you you know, you want to get more money. You want to get more fame. You know, you want to get all of that stuff. 
Ouch. Now you want to get all of those things. So um, you can either recruit more people for your cause. Uh, being uh, getting filthy rich off of the arena. Or, um, you know, you, you go ahead and, uh, you know, buy yourself some nice gear, basically. You have a you have a character that you make called the uh, the manager, <laughs> and that's like the guy. If he dies, you lose the arena mode. So you basically don't want to send the manager in to fight, unless you really really have to. Now some zombies, pretty interesting to observe, they actually flee from you, uh, like this guy. Now maybe we'll be able to throw him down the cliff, maybe. Or we're gonna fail hitting him altogether, you know? Because I'm not really used to attacking people using a little knife, you see? I'm also throwing in terms of, like, my balance because I keep actually falling on my ass. So there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can we uh, throw him down the pit? That's what I was hoping for, players. I was really hoping to be able to do that. But um, he, he retreated again. I run into the boy. I attempt to stab him. I successfully fail. And there he goes running again. So, when you want to kill... Hmm, random poor innocents, you call them zombies. Maybe they're running for a reason. Not wrong, actually. They are. Because they have still some lingering memories left. That they had uh, when they were still alive, you see. They still have some lingering thoughts and memories in there. So they're not completely brainless so what you're saying is like remnants of the personality before they became what they are now but yeah arena mode basically you're like going from battle to battle and the dungeon crawler it's um i dare say you have a little more purpose you know it it, it feel it feels more epic as well you know, it feels more epic in a way. It, uh, it feels like you have a little more purpose. You have magic as well, which you don't have in Arena. But Arena has some unique stuff going on as well. So if you play this game, you should check out both modes, is what I suggest. Maybe it's the Darren mode. Well, if you want Darren, you can also just stab the shit out of Darren immediately. <laughs> a nice little pit you can go and die in. But yeah, yeah. If you, if you start out as a farmhand in the dungeon mode, you also won't have Darren because you are technically Darren. A list of people assigned guard duty here. The same names are repeated, signed, and stamped over and over again. Occasionally, the name disappears suddenly and is replaced by another. No reason for this is noticed. Yeah, not suspicious. For sure. Absolutely not. But yeah, if, if you start this game out, it's extremely janky at first, I would say. You need to get used to it. So do some practice runs until you kind of get a feel for it. Maybe then go into the dungeon or arena. You know, try yourself a little, and you'll get there eventually. I think my has worsened. Uh, I think I've already read this one. And you know what? I sure did do. I sure did do that. I sure have done that. Boots? And a corner. Well, were they good boots? Uh, let me see. Corner boots. Boot. I see a chest piece. Heavy leather vest, actually. Curious. Um, one, one and a half, one, one. One, one and a half, half. One and a half. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... Coverage... A little less coverage. I'm gonna go with the Curious still. In the other corner. Uh, in the corner next to the door. Like here -ish? Or... Uh... There's a few doors. Hold on. <laughs> like next to the door. Uh... Not around here. Sorry, I could also have a case of severe blindness, you know? There's the thing we threw down. Oh, these boots! Okay, sorry, gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they're pretty, pretty mid. 
put him back down. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're kind of extremely mid. Mm, yes. And we've already been in this place, I would say. Severe blindness indeed. It's dark, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think other than that, this place is fairly cleaned out. You know? So we're gonna go into the next level, you guys. We're gonna go down into dungeon level 2. It's gonna get deeper. It's dark, he says. It is. Jupiter Hell? I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I can kinda see it. It's definitely not rushing the night vision. Dude, I love the night vision. Yeah. I fall down the stairs. <laughs> okay, guys. The game actually saved now, by the way. So if we do die, we're gonna respawn here. Right here is where we'll respawn. Quasimorph. I, I remember Quasimorph by name, but I forgot what that is. I imagine it's very similar to Jupiter Hell. Like, I do, I do know Jupiter Hell. It wasn't my... Gotta play the game eventually in my streaming career list. Eventually. Eventually. Yo, he has the uh, bed pen. Absolute giga set, seriously. He doesn't even wear armor, that's how... That's what a badass he is, actually. Now, he did do die, but... Badass nonetheless. Yo, tough letter cap, let's go. Some player old-school roguelike with a uh, Tarkov mechanic? Yeah, yeah, again, it's, it's, it sounds extremely familiar. Oh, nothing in here. No, not that I can open it. Dude, guys, so... Basically, in this game, right? You also have half levels, if that makes sense. So we're in level 2 right now. But it was also level 2.5. There's was level 3. And maybe level 3.5, though not sure about 3.5. But yeah, there's just like half-step levels as well. With uh, additional challenges and additional loot and whatnot. Okay, it's a bloody cleaver. I give him a gentle laugh tap. And then a less gentle laugh tap. Man had a torch. He did, he did. Uh, let's use number one real quick. Okay, don't sense anything here. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Then the cursed sewer. Yes, the cursed sewer. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, that sewer is always like... It always tears me apart. Always. We can get a nice blue baby shirt, you know? A baby blue shirt. Maybe even a nice leather belt? Soap? I'm gonna take soap with me in case I ever need to take a shower, you know? Um... I'm playing the front game. It's, uh, Seven Days to Die, but of zombies, we got evil empire with zombies, animals, mutants, soldiers with guns. Um... Zeppelins? Blood Moon, the beacon you spawn... The waves. Interesting. That sounds cool. I like that. This sounds cool. I'm playing still. Maybe, um... By this month. Hmm. Yeah, it's just pretty cool. Like, is it like one of the demos that came out? Or like... Like during the, 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 the Next Fest or whatever it's called? It's on Steam, the Steam Next. I guess that's actually neat. No alpha game? Oh, okay. Well... M maybe, maybe once it's more polished, I might even check it out myself. It actually sounds pretty neat. At least on paper, right? Then you have Seven Days to Die, which is still in beta after a few years. A handful of years, maybe, you know? Just just a few. Um, like, fuck it. Even Project Zomboid is even further in development than Seven Days to Die. Yes, in, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, just a few, just a few. It's been um, a couple of years, right? Yeah, they still got time, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe they're gonna also double the amount of programmers they have to, uh, to. Who knows? Mayhaps. Okay. Sword and dagger. 
Sword and dagger? I mean, uh... A sword. Torch. Torch and dagger. No poop loot? Okay, no poop loot. We get this. Can I open you? I sure can. Uh, some months until it's uh, a full game, but what I said is already in the game. Mm. Spear. I never liked spears in this game. I just can't wield them proper. There's a little pouch, in case you want to keep something else in there. I like the music in Xanima, though. The music is always so good. Like, it, 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 it builds ambience pretty well. You got, like, a little bit of, uh, of the mysterious, you know? This pouch? <clears throat> Th this? Please. This pouch? <laughs> That's my map pouch and horn pouch. Okay, I guess no horn. But I'll keep my soap in there again in case I need to take a shower eventually. By the way, shower mechanics are not implemented in the game yet. Well, so how's that gonna go, huh? Are we... Damn right we are. Come on, I'm gonna shank you like this is the UK! I'm gonna waddle towards you, that's right. Intimidatingly. I used the Lala Fell Waddle to, 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 to scare you. Eh, I stab you. I give the I give you the, the European handshake from Barrel Trauma. Don't you run, little one. Eh. Eh. Come back. Get stabbed. Oh, I tap out of the game. <laughs> Whoopsie! Yeah, just a generic tunic, waistcoat, mm, med boots. We have a waistcoat, right? Tunic. Uh, can we can we remove this real quick? I have a gimberson. A gimberson is what I have. Tunic. Tunic goes on this, but this goes on top of that, obviously. This goes... Yeah, it's another layer, but it's gonna be replaced with the Curus, you see. I'd rather have the Curus. It covers less, but um, it makes me feel better. <laughs> makes me feel a little better, you see. Yeah, that's where we checked for poop loot. Uh, isn't that where it came from? Remember the floor being kind of broken up like this? Now, that floor is a little more broken up, so clearly I've not been here. Oh. I stab him. I stab him again. I stab him. One last time. And there's another lad coming up. That's right. X-Men. One stab in the face, and you'll be done for, sir. I stab. I dodge. I don't dodge. <laughs> I I really failed to dodge that one. Okay, holy fuck. I stab you. These? <laughs> Just die? <laughs> like, <laughs> good grief. Why did you... Why did you mess me up the way you did? But... Well, my stamina was about to be depleted, so, uh, you know, I would have gone unconscious. However, the worst part is, I lost quite a bit of true health, you know? So I can't do anything here. Don't think I can get past. There's a lot of content for an early access, I will say, but... Uh, there are some systems that I'm, uh, that I'm too fond of. Which ones are that? Right, a mean one. Seems to be some sort of... You know, gathering hall, maybe? There's drums! Oh, come on. At least make a sound when you drop. What do you mean I can't take the drums with me? 
Okay, I gotta try this. Is it a good... Is Exanima! Indeed, a good game or not? I'm disappointed it didn't make a boom sound, you know? My heart, it aches. Nothing back here. Interesting chamber. Very little inside of it. That I saw, at least. Uh... Okay, well, let's try that again. Uh, we've not been here. Then again, being here uh, requires a little bit more creativity. Hold on. I move down. I take the plank. I move the plank. I move myself. Then I take the plank again and move down. And then... And now call me the bridge maker. But that's what I tend to do in this game. Okay, that was uh, that was one step further and we die. Mm-hmm. Well, is there anything here? Anything? No? Just a bunch of broken bottles and rubbish. Oh well. Let's move on then. With our life hopefully still intact. Yeah, some, some terrible earthquake must have sucked the foundation of this whole place here, you know. Yeah, I take I take the sack and step on top of it. Now being on the opposite side. Ooh, nice. Heavy gauntlets I take. I take the heavy gauntlets over the tough leather ones. There's no reason not to be in full plate by the end of this, you know. Before I go down, anything good? Paint pot? Palette? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess if, if you feel a little creative, you know, you got something to do in here at least, right? <laughs> There's that. Ooh, shoulder. Hardened spawnerons. I like mine hardened. Sorry. Okay, maybe maybe there's a little more loot. We, we also have five boosts, you know, the two B boosts from uh, Final Fantasy right here. Not that good in terms of protection, but has a lot of um, coverage going on. So I'm gonna kind of go for that right now. We can get a mace, because we grow a little tired of the dagger we have right now, but I like the dagger. Again, lacks range, I'll admit that. But um, that's good enough. Does a lot of damage when you do actually poke someone with it. Especially nasty if it goes into someone's face, you see. Now then. Um, is this where I came from? Hardly. Okay, who and what do we find in here, I wonder. Let's see. Hello? Oh, stumbling a little. Yeah, you ready? Hold on. I'm ready as well. Do <laughs> fuck's sake, dude! This should have not happened. <laughs> this should not have had happened. All right. That was a mistake that cost me dearly. Does being a dagger main uh, make you turn British? Boy, mate, what you mean? I'm not British in it. <laughs> oh bollocks! I almost stumbled on this thing over there. I sense myself becoming a little better. <laughs> there you go, is that good enough for you? Uh, maintain a binding while performing other tasks. You know what, let's go with that for now. Continuity. I open the door. I run into it. I open another door. I run into this one as well. Nicely lit. In it. And... Downward thrust. Okay, now, now we do a little pommel strike. And we're done. A gamberson. This time in green. A gamberson is about the same, I, I reckon. Okay, well, anything else we got in here? I rammed the guy. 
And then I fail to slash at him. <laughs> and then I do slash at him. Okay, we got multiple contacts. Uh, not for long, though. Like, imagine if my character's just tripping, and all those people are actually normal humans, you know? But I only perceive them as zombies. So I'm like, oh my god, it's a zombie! Meanwhile, they're like poor civilians just like freaking out, taking any possible weapon they can get just to fight back. Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm not run dead! It's like, what? No, it's me, Paul! Don't, don't, don't fight me! It's like, die, beast! It's like, no, 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 you, you misunderstand me! It's, I'm not, I'm not a beast! It's like, yeah, yeah. I'm just fighting. I'm only seeing red now. Hello? What we got? That's a lovely looking gamberson, but it's also light. Yeah, better quality items obviously protect you a little better. Did you recognize me? It's me, Dixon. I'm like, no. No, no, Dixon, Dixon found to an eternal pit. You can't be him. No, 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 no. You're lying, you fiend. And it's just like, no, no, it's really me. Like, the, the, it was like waist deep water in there. Like, it, it's really not that bad. Like, it's, seriously, like, it's, it's, it's me. Can, can't you recognize me? Meanwhile, all I'm hearing is like, you know, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, oh no. You know, you almost look human. But I know better than that. I know better than trusting a silhouette over there. I jump on you. Barrel roll. Come now. Have at you. Eh. Almost. Huh. Someone stumbled over a table, didn't they? Go. There's some heavy footsteps right there. Don't get down. Another one bites the dust, chief. Okay, more magic. So we got Kinesis now. Now let's make it so that they're all in the same thing. So, I wonder how that's gonna work. Lift and throw an object towards the desired target. Wave. Needs expansion. Barrier. I mean, barrier sounds pretty nice. Like, it actually sounds nice, but we need coherence for that, which we do have. I'm gonna try and do barrier. I'm gonna try and do that. Maybe it's gonna actually end up being extremely clutch and really good. Or it's gonna turn out to be trash and unusable. I hit you slightly on the hand. Then I hit you slightly on the head, and then all of my slight hits cumul uh, cumulate in death. Okay, we got a pipe user. We had a pipe user. Okay, nothing too crazy going on there, but parchment. I'm sitting in a tavern, something I have not done in a long time. Unless it is quite... Uh, empty and all the drinks has spawned long ago these people cannot have been so different from us and yet some things are very strange there are lamps and even fires that never burn out i do not understand the source of their power but it won't echo with the sounds of the long dead but beneath that i sense something else like a far-reaching presence it is faint but everywhere and very strange could this be the mythical guardian or even uh, uh, Faven Spellgiver? Faven Spell? What now? Faven who now? Sounds like something from Grimdon. Well, place sure is a bit dark, huh? Sadly, I lost my um, de facto torch hold person. Or Darren died. Though, can I, can I, yo, I can take a little, 
is this worth me? Counter. Glass counter. Can I take the whole thing now? Well, that's a shame now. Well, anything back here now? Gotta make sure we looked at everything after all, you know? And so we get the really good loot and health potions. Oh boy, health potions, my beloved. You <laughs> ruined so much second game. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. No poo loot? No poop loot, okay. I think there's gonna be a health potion eventually that's in the toilet, right? Something like that. I open the door. I enter another toilet. I look into it. I found a lack of poop and or loot. I walk away. Disappointed. Alright. Well then. That's um... That one on that came from this room there, right? Yeah, from this chamber. That's what we got in here. Another open door. Uh, do I recognize any, um, brain activity here? <laughs> no, not yet. Alright, we'll just move on. No one has a brain in here, so, no well. Including me. I don't give up a signature after all. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go back to two-handed sword for now. Since we're inside of a uh, well-lit area. Hello? So I must have been here already. Judging by the open gate and the door. Again, just gonna do a little, little, little scan. Like you'd think it was here, but at the same time... This darkness... It goes contrary to what I said. Okay, there's a bunch of nothing in that room. A prosthetic leg. Well, we'll chuck it up to a bunch of nothing in that room. We got a chest with a die. And a spoon. <laughs> Yo, spoon run only? Spoon only run? Is it time? Yeah, yeah. Now... Surely we've been in here, right? Actually, no, I also don't think that is the case either. Yeah, there's, there's like uh, a little surgery table or something. This, a sapphire. Now, we're gonna be taking that sapphire with us, okay? Why? I suppose a nice little shiny gem and second of all, we may just need it somewhere. I will upgrade my breastplate. And we got a little uh, alchemy apparatus. Little butt plug. Alright. A little nothing, a little candle. Looks, looks all fine to me. Yeah, I really don't want to be hit in the back. My back is kind of lacking protection right now. It's wide open. Hello? More surgeon stuff. Hmm, this I can open up, the little box we see. Well, I take this little box and that's gonna be like my jam table. Uh, now, there's actual soul gems, I believe, which can enhance certain weapons in certain ways. But I believe they do deplete over the use. Now, I do know there's... A very, very fancy um, sword that burns forever, I believe. Also, Karos, thank you for the uh, follow. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the show. Hmm. Now I do send someone. Yeah, that's a someone. Um, first of all, hmm. First of all, I'm gonna swap weapons real quick. You deserve the long blade. But I believe you have a stick. Alright. And we're done. Target eliminated. 
But I am not sure if that's really everyone. There might be more of them lurking about. I don't sense anything. Could have been. Well, I also sense that this floor is in dire need of some repairs right there. No, it's alcoholic dungeon. Yeah, it's right. That's the one. How you doing, Banana Born? Welcome. Speaking of alcoholic, are we back in the tavern? Well, and I fall up the stairs yet again. That marks the second time within a minute. Yeah, man, how are you doing? Hope you've been well. I'm looking around, you know, keeping an eye open for anything good. Now, I might have got my ass slightly kicked. I almost fell down to death. Uh, by, by some guy with a hammer, because I literally threw. Well, uh, there is a room that uh, seems a little more accessible from way back here. There we go. Uh, looks like uh, you busted into oblivion. First step on stairs, and then you already face first in the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, f uh, walking, walking isn't my strength. I I do it sometimes if I have to, but um. A lot of the time, I prefer falling to my objectives, you see? It's way quicker. Depends on how far we fall, I guess. I hear footsteps behind me. Who goes there? Oh, target sided, target sided in here. We got a man. We got a guy with a stick, I believe. If. Bank is dead. Yeah, he... Yeah, he fell down to the, uh, into the eternal abyss there. Um, we won't be seeing him again. All the belongings he might have had on him at some point, they're gone. <laughs> we will not be seeing those ever again. Guy died the way he lived. Face first on the floor, yeah. Sure hope he didn't have a key, though. <laughs> If he had a key... Oh, I'm also first, uh, face first in the floor right now. You know, sure hope that man did not have a key. Because if I'm not mistaken, some... Primary sword, secondary is this. That should make it easier to swap in between those. The key is on the table. Was it actually on the table? If it was on the table, I could go back. But first let me open this room. Yo, bottle. Is a shortcut door, uh, anyways? Yeah, I mean, I appreciate it. Heavy gauntlets. Do I? I have heavy gauntlets. One and a half, two, one, one and a half. Not even a competition. <laughs> okay, I get it. Drew better. Uh, slightly, um, slightly superior in quality. Like the Jedi update? I'm getting there. Um, I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I mean... The abilities are nice if you want to like throw an enemy on the floor. I suppose, right? But... Other than that, it's... Mm, yeah. I need to unlock more uh, Jedi powers first, you know. Then I could give it probably a better review. So I'm surprised to see that they added even more uh, formaturgy stuff to the game, like body, energy, and so on. I guess, again, energy... Hi. Energy being something like, um... You know, something like fireballs, probably. Body being something like necromancy or like healing spells, perhaps. While, um... Displacement, that's a bit of an odd one. Not sure what they're thinking, uh... You know, about that uh, magic tier. But, um, yeah, currently currently it's, it's it's nice to have something new. And as well, not only have something new. I heard that the floors, they reach even deeper than earlier. Energy zapping people. Yeah, I can see that too, yeah. Zapping people, fireball. I mean, it's also some sort of energy after all. Yeah, zapping, yeah. Again, absolutely can't see that stuff. Do you think... If I put the rubble to the side... 
and attempt to crouch down. Or don't attempt to crouch down, that I can go in here. Now, the answer is spoiler, I already did it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nothing too crazy here yet. I think so. I mean, again, it sounds like maybe necromancy or like, um, you know, some sort of like self-heal maybe, which would be really OP, I know, but like may maybe that's to do with your body or like artificially enhance your strength or uh... I'm gonna close the door real quick. I'll be right back. See if you like those things, you know, like maybe you artificially enhance your own strength, dexterity, maybe like you, you swing faster, or um, you know, you know, stuff like that, kinda. Let's not also forget that they still need to add ranged combat, which I believe is gonna be the next update, maybe. I mean, we're in version 0.9 after all of the game, right? So, I'd like to imagine that they do have a solid version of uh, what those things are going to be eventually. You know? So I trust in Bare Metal. They made a nice product. And I'm sure they, um... 1.0 at least? I mean, I hope they're gonna have it in 1.0. Uh, is this the way down to, um... Floor 2.5? I think it is. Something like that. Uh, we'll be back later. Yeah, this is floor 2.5. Actually, no, we won't be back later. Fuck it, we're going in right now. I fall down the stairs. If I'm not mistaken, this is floor 2.5. We have some skellies in here. Which, um... Translation... The dagger is not gonna help me a lot. <laughs> That's about the translation of it. It's what happened in ranged combat updates coming out. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is just that. Uh, just between level. And this is a nice place to die to fall damage. Now, I know if you go down, like if you fall down somewhere, like earlier, I believe, you've seen a bit of a walkway there. You can actually land somewhere and find some loot potentially. I don't sense anything yet. Oof. Bam! I'm in! I'm in! Yep, yep, we got we got skeletons. I take the pickaxe out. I I I get stuck. I watch the skeleton get stuck. Even worse probably. I mine the skeleton. I mine him. Okay, I know how this looks, guys. I, I know it looks really kinky. But believe me, we're fighting here, okay? Close quarters combat. Okay, I, I, I help the skeleton get out. Then I bash him on the head again. <laughs> this is so fucking derpy right now. Holy fuck. I get the skeleton. Good. We did it. We defeated him. At last. I equip rusty armor. I equip different head item. I equip, or rather unequip my boots. Or different boots. You know, ones that aren't thigh highs. Uh, one and a half, three and a half, one and a half, three. About the same. Light splodders? No. I'm not gonna go dead. Yeah, that's just about right, I think. Yeah. I mean, if you sleep trying to te uh, to reach the chest in the uh, slippery cave in level 1, uh, you crash there? If you sleep trying to reach the chest in the slippery cave in level 1, you crash there? Um, no, 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 I I, I mean, I, I, I didn't crash, I didn't even fall down the pit, uh, if that's what you mean. Uh, two slash, one thrust. It's actually better, the other longsword. I'm surprised this one looked almost in a better, like it's in a better uh, quality. I, I am, I'm pretty sure I sense someone else here as well. Let's pull out a torch. See what we see. <laughs> see what we see. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And yeah, let's see what we see. <laughs> 
See what we can perceive for wise, hmm? Yes. <laughs> Sounds about reasonable. Alright, well nothing in here. Guess we go back to the um Yeah, no, we don't wanna be doing that, huh? Primary can go back to this, so Yeah. It's gonna be easier seeing around the place here. Now am I meant to go like this? Uh, probably not. Probably not meant to be taking this sort of route. But here I am doing it anyways. I'm exploring the outside of the graveyard. Hurting myself as I fall face first in the dirt. I can confirm. There is hardly anything. <laughs> Damn right. Grave robbing I see. Damn right. And you know what, it works just fine, unless you now run into someone that scares me a little too much and then I need to run away from them instead. So Helmut, you know, le leading back to the whole Helmut uh, conversation, uh, the nice thing about it is that um, in this floor, they added ghost enemies. Now, ghost enemies were pretty neat, I think, especially due to their lore. I don't like it. It was like, yeah, you know, when you when you're dead, it's like dreaming, and you know, when you realize it's all a dream, you, you kind of can lose a dream, right? That's basically what the ghosts did. They realized they're dead, so now they can pretty much manipulate everything the way they want and just fuck around with everyone. Uh, I don't think that's where I came from, and if it is where I came from, then it's gonna be really awkward. I think it's about to get really awkward here. Uh, we also unlocked the uh, the force barrier, did we? Yeah, wee bit of a barrier. Barricade. Pre prevents passage in one direction. This is a way for force pushing. So we can block people? Or we can throw stuff at people? Let's try to throw first. Um... Can I just select you? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Uh, not quite what I'm meant to do. Do it. Did, did we... Okay. Not sure how that one works, if it works at all. To begin with. Uh, different helmets. So minus three. Um, five, two and a half, two and a half. Also five, also three. I believe it's about the same quality. It pretty much is, yeah. It's just a little shinier, so I'll just take it. Yeah, a little bit shinier. That's about it. Oh well. Guess it'll do. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. There's more graves to be plundered, after all. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you fall down here, you will die. I'm like, 80% sure. But then again, I do remember there being a little section where you can fall down, it'll be just fine. Can you... Or should you rather? I don't think I should go up there. Yeah, hi. Um, uh, let me let me go somewhere else real quick. Yeah. Yeah, damn right. You 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 fall down. Okay, I'll, I'll just wait here for you, skeleton. We got one with the shields. Hit him on the head. That's right. Now, luckily, skeletons, they don't have a lot of weight to them. You know, something about being a literal skinny bone man, you know, makes you flop around rather easily. Very, very much at the mercy of gravity, I'd say. Okay. 
Now I don't know how to quick swap between um, loadouts, so that's just kind of how we do it right now. Way up again, really. So just what? Way, like, back where we came from? Like a, a different part of the dungeon, though? Seems like it. We're in a church, almost. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> nice one. Very much so. Yeah, a wee bit of a church. Oh, and back to uh, back to the first floor as well. I see. Game had to take a moment back there. <laughs> Was a little struggling, huh? Yeah, I think that's the um, entrance you're meant to take instead of like going through the uh, murder labyrinth and whatnot. I think. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's need to be back, but I don't need to be here. So we'll just go back down instead. Geronimo! You know I fell. You know I fell at the end. Like, you know I did. Yes, yeah, see, I told you! <laughs> the prophecy. The self-fulfilling prophecy right there. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, hi, sir. Ma'am? Mister? Madam? Um... I- I cast the barrier? So am I just blocking? Is- is that what I'm doing? Is- is that all? I thank you. I thank you more. I do doing all the spells. Welcome. Welcome to the Exanimus. Very lovely game, got a very lovely update, makes you a Jedi. <laughs> Basically. Except for, you know, the swords are not as uh, colorful, uh, so to speak. Oh, money. Wait, it's just... Maybe out of glass? A glass coin? Hmm. Haven't tried a new update yet, it's fun. Like, uh, the main thing that I'm curious about is the, um, the new level. That's what I'm really curious about. Like, I always loved going into a new, undiscovered dungeon. Is that a bottle? Very well could have been, actually, yeah. Speaking of, we leveled up just now. Um... We needed something. <laughs> we needed one of them. Um, which one's dead? Do we actually need one of them? Mask confusion, mask mind, calm. I forget which one's the one that leads to eventually being able to, um... Of course, continuity. Maybe I'll go for this instead. Like, I know we kind of started leveling Fro, but maybe we just leveled that up. We got continuity. There we go. Harder on continuity. Beyond the portal yet? I don't know. Haven't gotten beyond the portal yet. I'm just on level 2. So I wouldn't know uh, about if there is or not. We really need something for a red bar? Yeah. Again, like health potions. Far and few between. That's how it goes. You wouldn't dare hurt me, now would you? Okay, you just hurt me. I thank you! Eh. Eh, I missed! I kinda hit him, partially. Okay, surely I must have hit him right there. Surely I'm hitting him, right? Surely my stabs are actually landing. Okay, he just got a friend there, you know. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me walk away. Let me equip different weapon. Let me look at them. It's time to pickaxe them. Right in the shoulder. Won't be able to use that arm in time soon. 
right in the hand, shattering the bones. Knocking you down on the floor, trying to mine you like that. Um, I don't know, I, I ran out of analogies there. However, hit that man right in his face. Make him fall down, slash him in the neck. Three people, everyone dead and undead. Technically. Do this. Do this. Cool. Yeah, the knife thing hasn't really uh, played out well for me there. <laughs> Alright. I don't like diamonds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, epic Minecraft gamer montage bank here. Oh? Is that it? Is that the one? The boy? Could it be? Boom! It is! The boy! Everyone, say goodbye to the damn torch. We will not be using it anymore. For we are... Night Vision Knight now. That's right. Yeah, we officially unlocked Night Vision Helmet. It's true. This one. The helmet. When you wear this helm, you are able to make out your surroundings even in complete darkness. So we can use two-handed weapons without having a damn, you know, need for our torch. We're fighting in complete pitch blackness. Hands down, one of the best helmets in the game. We'll be carrying it throughout the majority of it with us. Until we eventually replace it. Eventually. Uh, as you know, I have placed a very special order with you. Given the significant payment I have given you, I expect prompt delivery. Why have I yet to hear from you? Surely they're not dead or anything like that, you know? That'd be silly. I equipped a chain. Uh, tough boots. You replace, even replaces by your own pocket son. Yes. Also, we don't talk about my own pocket, son, okay? That's taboo. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's, uh... It's, it's a nice... It's a very nice helmet to have. Extremely so. I believe it's guaranteed... I mean, it basically is guaranteed to be behind that box over there. If you just click that little stone that is slightly, um... You know... Poking out of there. But yeah, I really like this. Like, it also allows you to... Huh? It also allows you to, um, use sword and board, for example, you know? Like, have a little shield with you. If you're more into that. You know, just not having your one hand be occupied with a torch goes a long way. Okay, what do we have here? Pipes? We can smoke, you guys. But, uh, nothing that I need. To be fair. So, over on. Cut, uh, I learn how to walk upstairs, you know? This this can't keep happening, man! This can't keep on going. Like, it's. I can't go on. Like, there! Yeah. Walking upstairs, my nemesis! I just love the face planting. Yeah, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of that. It's great, though. <laughs> Like, again, I, I, I kind of really like the graphics. The graphics? Um, not not graphics. Um, that's not what I meant to say. I meant, I meant to talk about the, the... This! The physics! This doesn't damage you. It does actually damage me. Part of the new update. They added fall damage. Uh, in that sense as well. Um, ragdoll damage. So, if you keep an eye out on my bar, you can see that... Like, it doesn't damage damage you yet, unless I fall harder or deeper down, but, um, it, it does give you stamina damage every time. Wait, I've been here before. Get turned around. Yeah, I think it's a nice addition. Makes very much sense. And allows you to use your environment even more as a, you know, tool for combat. Now, um, we're gonna go back up, we're gonna go back down to the crypts. But before we do that, I need to take something from this shrine, it's very important. Glass ornament. 
Hmm. I take the painting. Yeah, I take the portrait of person. That's right. They were very important to me. You see? It's one of the game devs, actually. Uh, believe it or not. Can I... Can I... You, you think I can... You think I can do this? Take one of those? No? Shame. Yeah, but look at it. It's, uh, it's, it's the dev of the game. See, it's one of the programmers. Right there. Looking real good. I fall down into the catacombs again. Use the glass ornament like a shitty mace? No, it doesn't let you equip it. But like, imagine what if, though. Boo! <laughs> again, I know you can go down one of these places. This is probably not one of them. Yeah, there's, there's, there's more secrets lurking in the dark here of the catacombs. The, the kind of catacombs, I suppose. Level 2.5, that is. I mean, I know there's more than this. Yeah, that's the one tomb we plundered. And that's cool and all. I appreciate it. I run against the wall, hurting myself also slightly. Knocking the... Looking the air out of me. What if I go this way? Over yonder. We get a shelf with a bunch of glass ornaments in there. Get some light again. Get a fork in the road. I feel like I've been here before. It's because I have. Hmm, right. How to open this one, I wonder. Like, it's open in the back. I do not think you can go from around it. But maybe you can go from the bottom, you know? Can we ignite those two? I doubt it. I do doubt it. We can try. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, burn! Do something! Boo! Technically lit? Practically, no, you can't. I know what I did. Sure. I'm probably gonna see if I can go around. Now, that's the graveyard again. We know the graveyard's a bit of a dead end. Yeah, 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 that's, that's what I was about to do. How to open that thing. Climb? Well, climb in quotation marks. It's not like climbing, climbing. It's like, again, like that's that's what I was on about. See this? You can you can drop down here non-lethally. You can kind of slide down here, and there there is the uh, the thing we've seen. So we we'll kind of do that very thing as well. Let's uh, carefully go down. <laughs> yeah, like Skyrim climbing. Yeah. Ah, in my face. What's down here? I know there's more... I know there's some more goodies waiting somewhere. Like, instead of going where I wanted to go initially, I know there's more stuff. More than meets the eye. Carefully go on the side of the rocks here, because you can. One moment I thought it was a chest. Where the fuck am I now? <laughs> did I just go back to the beginning? I think I did, yeah. Well, it's good to know. Good to know how uh, useless that was just now. Careful now. Don't don't hurt yourself, man. Don't go hurting yourself. You know, if you fall down and fall on your sword on the pointy bit, you're not gonna be walking away from that anytime soon. Oh, hi. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Stop it. I'm, I'm not... Not in the mood for this. You see... It's, it's a shame... I don't have the Mordhau gr uh, grab... 
here or whatever. Like, we're... we're I, I just want to attack the damn skeleton with my uh, blunt part of the sword, you know? <gasps> what do you mean you're still standing there and staring me down? Let me stand up first before we keep fighting, okay? Thank you. Ah, oh, he got me again. Damn you, skeleton! Raise his hand in anger. Guys, I think we need a health potion. <laughs> I did not hear no bell yet. Okay, come on, you could have at least let me stand up first. <laughs> you could have you could have let me stand up first, okay man? Yeah, and it's gonna send us back. You understand? It's gonna send us back. It's gonna send us all the way back before we even found the good stuff, you know, the good helmet. That's right. That also would happen in our inventory, which we don't see. Yeah, I almost had him. Almost had him. But I took a little too much damage there, I'm afraid, so yeah. Happens. Um, believing that this is like somewhere around here, the way that leads back up. If I'm not completely wrong. Should have used a pick? I know I should have used a pick. Hmm. A bit more. So we can protect our face a little more. Technically, I used the pick. If we want to be technical about it. Okay, let's see. So. Uh, yeah. That's uh, not a way to go. Not even if we make our own sort of bridge. I'm happy that we at least have face protection here. The thing is, I'm not quite sure where exactly in the timeline I am right now. I just... <laughs> I fell on my face when I left right there. Like, I just fell on my face. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You even heard it. Like, you even... To you totally even heard it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the... That's the... That's the wrong exit. I want to go for the other one. I probably just fell. Yep. <laughs> telling you, it's way faster that way. I'm telling you, man. Way quicker to travel like this. Yeah, we could go down, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I first would like to have my... Night vision helmet. Uh, that's literally where we got the... The vor from. Clunk, tink. Hits everything in my path. Uh, what was back here? Yeah, that was the dead end. Well, I'm really bad at backtracking, huh? <laughs> like, I've just been here, like, moments ago, and, like, this is what's happening, huh? Uh, I forgot what we went for the last time. Was it something here? Maybe we can get... Yeah, let's just do more continuity. For now. Surely, right? Surely it'll be good. Good future investment. It's a little odd. We'll investigate when we come back to the crypts. Again, first things first. Night vision helmet needs to come back. My beloved, you know. So, by the way, uh, there's a little thing in the game. So, if, if you try... Like, it used to be the case that after a certain point in the game, um, the game will not autosave anymore. So you can easily... And I mean very easily, lose extreme chunks of progress just like that. Why was it that way? Not sure. I and many other people, presumably, um, started backing up our saves differently. Um, you know, like basically you quit out of the game, it'll create a save file, and then you store that save file somewhere on your desktop maybe, and then just kind of drag it back into the game, right? Like, that sort of 
thing as what me and many others did to actually progress, right? Because this... My god. <laughs> because this game's not inherently like a roguelike, right? Like, yeah, 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 sure. It's like... It just doesn't feel good either when you lose like that much progress that easily, you know? It sucks. It really does, so... It was one of the only ways to actually deal with it. Surely. There we go. I didn't really get him. Eh, it should be down now. So I'm kind of hoping that a latest update did address that issue. I you know. We can, in fact, you know, autosave after that one point of no return that I just mentioned. Almost a nice headshot. There we go. That's what I'm on about, see? Nice head in the head. Always just a trick. Now, if I was smart, I would probably wait. And, uh, not rush. Like I am right now. But then again... I have more brawn than brain, you see? <laughs> So where was that little uh, loose stone again? Uh, wasn't in here, I believe. So yeah, a bunch of nothing. Must be on an actual bookshelf. It's getting warmer, though. Ah, yes, I knew it was getting warmer. Searing hot, even. Searing hot is what it is right now. Better not be anybody sneaking up on me right now. Yeah, I guess we swapped. The chest is a little further ahead than where I was clicking. Oh well. And drop this one. Or there's no need for it anymore. And we still have our face guard, which is neat. Okay. Got the thing I came for. It's very nice. My man went back to examine and didn't bring back muffin, muffin rings, muffin mats, muffin sads. Well, it's more like I can't. <laughs> uh, muffin was actually here um, during character creation. This is his brother. Um, you don't see the name? Buffin? And uh, yeah, like the thing with Muffin, right? Is Muffin has been created using Cheat Engine. Now, the game inherently has a patch installed. That this allows your body proportions to be, um... Muffin's body proportions, you know? I would have loved to bring him back, but... That would either require us to, um... To get some weird mod going, which uh, I didn't. Or hell mode, which, um... Well, it wouldn't be the experience we're getting right now, you see? For sure not. No sweet rolls? No sweet rolls, I'm afraid, sorry. But yeah, like, uh, Muffin, I, I'd love for him to come back, and he will eventually. Especially with Xanima, if we can do, like, Arena or so. Maybe we'll put him back in there. Oh, you know, whenever... Muffin, you know, Muffin's hardcore, okay? Muffin doesn't doesn't mess around. Muffin is a hell mode character, you know? He, he is a badass, you know? He's something to be aspiring to become. And whenever hell mode's gonna have more content to it... We'll have Muffin back in no time. Don't you worry. But this is normal mode, you know? This is... They're not quite so hellish mode. Dude, I'm, I'm also, like, excited what we're gonna do with hell mode itself, you know? Like, it had, it had a lot of content to it while I'm struggling going upstairs. And uh, I did like them basically disabling, like, the body slider limitations. And they also used it themselves, by the way, to make, like, very grotesque-looking zombies. We can also make it like, oh yeah, Muffin, but he's on a diet, you know? <laughs> so we can go, instead of uh, going into the um, heavyweights, we're gonna be a lightweight. So lightweight, in fact, that we're gonna be terrible to look at. And the, the, the lightest gust of wind's gonna die at Muffin, yeah, the lightest gust of wind's gonna send me flying. Across the entire realm. 
Alright, what do we have in here? Anything good? Since we're here, we might as well do some exploring. I think my arm got lodged inside of the door. Uh, please send help. Help? Oh lordy. Um. Ah! Please! Oh god, the pain! The misery! Oh! Ah, my arm! The door is a mimic! Guys, I'm glued to the door right now. There we go. Okay, I got it. I got it. This is the end. No, I can't. I have something to fight for, you see. I'm not that easily beaten by the dark powers of doors. Um, Two-handed sword. Slash three and a half. Thrust two and a half. That's better. It's better than the previous one. Uh, mainly, it has no blunt damage. This one has impact damage. Or rather, no, it has impact. Not as much though as the pickaxe, right? And the other one has even less of it. However, I'm gonna use the sword over the pickaxe. Because the impact damage is identical, I'd say. So, I mean, it should be fine on paper. Then again. Oh, this could be very much wrong. Any toilet loot? <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you. I, I, I swear I remember there being like a toilet health potion somewhere. And we will drink it. <laughs> Don't worry about sanitation or anything like that. Yes? I guess there were about sanitation. Good grief. Those were quite the hell of sounds. Well, we know where they are. They're just casually hiding out of sight. What is this? A little seal, huh? Cute. A big old storage room by the looks. What we got? Nothing in particular, like maybe like stuff to wash clothes with or something. Ah, that's where you've been hiding. <laughs> Played him like a fiddle. That's right. Didn't even stand a chance. Or so. Oh! Well, 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 well. Look at that. We'll add that to the collection of cards. Or maps, rather. Replace it below because it's technically a lower level. There's also another um, thing here on the floor. Candle, never mind. Like, they look very, very similar to, um, you know, the, uh, the scrolls, the candles. It's all my fault. Okay, but yeah, Baldir, how you doing, by the way? Like, I, I hope you've been uh, well and all. Well, it's nice to see you live on stream right now. What do we have? Some some sewing? Bunch of sewing, maybe some nice clothes laying around here? Perhaps, perhaps. A place to clean set clothes in, I imagine. Maybe a bit of a uh, bath. I opened the door. Hmm. Target practice, I see. Well, some some tongs on the floor or like shears maybe yeah we got we got some uh, drawing stuff huh oh well oh well we'll just move on not too much in here uh with uh yeah that's the bath that's the bathroom okay Right then, and a thing over yonder. Yes, in fact, a very confused individual. Judging by the armor, either a soldier or a proctor. Either way, they will not be able to walk again. 
Now that I'm done with them. Oh, dude, we can have a very well-made velvet shirt. And yes, it is the Proctor's seal. That's right. I thought it was going to be them. Uh, van braces we don't need, right? I imagine our van braces are a little better. We got different ones. <laughs> More encumbrance, of course, but it doesn't matter. We're pretty good with encumbrance, you see. Leather gloves. No, I'm good. I'm actually good. Um, this one has decent stats. This one has slightly worse stats. Okay, so we're gonna swap the chain armor. We're also gonna equip the, uh, the sword here. Probably. If I, if I could look at it. Yeah, just... Sword. Can, can I can I drop it real quick? Thank you. Yeah, it's a normal sword. Um, not as much impact damage. A little faster, of course. That's whatever. Uh, yes, so mind sense. Make it, like, continuous. Like an almost permanent thing, I'd say. I stumble into the room. I see some boots on the top shelf, which are presumably gonna be worse, because they're probably made out of leather. Mind a step. Mm, little pillow. I wonder if the Proctor is like... Has a random chance to spawn at a rent Like, whether... Okay, let me re <laughs> rephrase this. Do you think the Proctor is a um, random spawn point, or do you think it's like set to be here? Because I remember the Proctor being um, in front of the uh, next entrance, so to speak. That's what I remember. Then again, you know, a bunch of updates happened. Might as well be outdated information. By now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Probably, actually. Okay, it's not a real button rock thing hi let me step to the side as I blast you with my mind power that's right and I slash your ass and I keep slashing at it you die a new individual joins the fray I mind blast you knocking you off balance but not down I slash your foot I slash your foot again. I check you out. You have not too much on you that I want. But the guy was packing some heat. From what I've seen. Some sheets on the floor. Um, back in a back room, I find myself. Seems like a bit of an armory this time around. Yeah, a bunch of helmets, a smithy. Yep. Sure used to be one. A hole in the wall, which we're gonna crawl through later. Unless I forget to. Stairs? <laughs> My nemesis? A bunch of swords laying on the floor, but um, I imagine what I have is decent enough. Anything here? Like inside a table? An ink pot? Nothing more, uh, nothing more than that. Locked. Actually, you think that there might be a key inside of said item? No. No, there's not. Gotta find a damn key. There's a lot of places we can access right now. And I don't think I've seen one back there. Maybe behind this! No. There's not. Hmm. Looking around, I don't see too much at all. Well, let's go for that little hole in the wall, shall we? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> okay. It's not locked, conveniently. Uh, same goes with this one. What if I use my spell? Wrong spell. Interesting. Eh. Interesting indeed, huh? Oh boy. Have at it. 
I stab you with my zwei hander. And in the face, my sword stuck in his cranium. That's right, that man is more than just dead. He is super dead. I'm not sure that he and his offspring are all going to die with that one swing I made. Alright. Uh, don't see anything. Don't see anything. Maybe there's gonna be some goodies over here. Like a key. Some of the soldiers are trying to intimidate me into giving them certain items. I made the mistake of trying to explain why we limit their use. Clearly, they do not agree, and now they dislike me more. Should I inform the captain? I see no choice that will lead to more trouble. I put the key in the key box. What's this? Candle holder, huh? Well, you know, that guy might have died while he was sleeping. Maybe a rock fell on his face because that bed was covered in rubble. Yeah, there must have been like some very severe earthquake in here. Ah! <laughs> there must have been a very severe earthquake in here. I dare say. Alright, let's go in. Let's go open up this bad boy. This one door I couldn't open earlier. That is, you know, if it is in fact the door for that. I would imagine it's the weapons room. Uh, let's see. Damn right it is. We're in. Oh. Why? Why? Of course. I will. Yeah, put those to the side. We don't need those no more. We got ourselves a sword of some very nice quality right here surely there won't be a skeleton now that can beat me that easily it's balanced very fine-tuned yeah, yeah there were just the beauty slashing and blood both very lovely my beloved all right cool Got a neat helmet. Got a neat weapon. All I need now is to avenge myself with that skeleton again. Screw that guy, after all. Making me redo all of this? That's if I can backtrack to, you know, the actual place without looking at the map because I kind of don't want to be bothered right now with it. Oh, yes. Big old cavity in the floor. Hey, you. You're a skeleton, aren't you? Get blasted! Loser! Yeah, that's right. You're not, you're not gonna get ahead on me that easily, after all. I uh, see so you brought France. Guess what? Get blasted! Get blasted, fool! Come on, come into one line. It's gonna be extra fun, I say. Knocking you guys off balance. I think you had your franchise now. Why would you do something like that? Alright, to say, to say. You give me your peace, first of all. Give me a break. Okay, I tapped him a little and he, he just died. <laughs> Almost had him. They done their homework, they sure did. Oof! Yeah, he broke something, you know that. You know he did. You're just gonna stir me down now, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the spacing, you know? A lot of spacing happening here. I hit him slightly. I hit him a little less slightly now. There we go, bone boy. Plate griefs. I mean... Why say no to that, after all? 
heavy breastplate, curious. Hmm, three, one and a half, two and a half. It's better in terms of defense, less coverage, however. Every fight is different, yeah, sure is, sure is. They're done well with that. Is this the place where I think that it is? Yes, yes it is. Yeah guys, that's the portal we make it to the next level. Um yeah, we won't be going there quite yet, actually. Yeah, I, I I'm not gonna enter this place just yet, actually. Um yeah, big big menacing portal. Usually before it used to be the last safe thing in the game we can do. So I'd like to go back to the crypts, wrap up the crypts, wrap up this place as much as I can, and maybe then, maybe then, we do end up going deeper. I'm most likely, there's not, there's not gonna be much else to do, right? <laughs> but like, still, still. Um, don't see anything in here. Don't see anything just yet. Let's move back up and go in here instead. I can hear... Sounds. Teleport to the Outlands. While I can and then find like Illidan. Is that what you want me to do? Horseman on the floor. A Proctor! Just as I feared. And yet I grew complacent. She was well prepared, obviously. She had some idea of what to expect. It was only luck that she didn't kill me. I cannot stay here. I must hide and prepare defenses. I do not know how I will be able to continue my work. The Proctor would have made an excellent subject. A shame I had to kill her. So, I will leave her here to impede any who would pursue me. Hmm. Yeah, that's the Proctor we fought. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Confused memory surface, but you fight them down in fear. Nevertheless, something was restored. Okay. That was sudden. Woman subjects a most remarkable weapon and escaped. Making quick work of anything in his path. I was surprised by his ability to guard his mind against me. I tracked his escape for some time, but then completely vanished for, from my senses. How did he do that? Who is he? Am I the he? <laughs> Am I a he? Perhaps? I might be. I might be the he. Someone trying to temper me? You know, trying to control me, perhaps? Maybe maybe that's what's happening to me here, as of late? A mind. It's being affected by something, yet we, we keep resisting. I'm certain that Zweek is, import, is importing contraband goods. We have searched his lodges and a glass workshop on several occasions, but we never find anything. Not even a hiding place he might use. That old toad has been here f uh, longer than any of us, and he thinks he can outsmart us. Must be missing something, but what? An axe? That's a pretty good looking axe. Uh, so good that it's gonna replace this. It's a one handed one as well, I believe. Very possible. Okay. Anything in the cupboards? Nothing useful? Nope. Not yet. That's, again, presumably a bath. Leading all the way down to the sewers with the grid. Let's move on, shall we? Let's see what else we got. Oh, nice little, little uh, pillows there to see, uh, to, to seat on. <laughs> to sit on. Right then. I scan for activity. No toilet loot from what I can see. At a first glance. It is. Well, again, trying to make my way back. Ouch. <laughs> Ran into the wheelbarrow. Trying to make my way back. Where I came from initially. Again, without looking at the map. I remember killing some of those guys. Ah, yes, another toilet, of course. Which means up here is either a toilet or... 
Oh, it's Smithy again. Oh, God. That's not what I thought I'd be. Hold on. Okay, okay. Well, I do know where I am, sort of. Yeah, yeah, we do have a map. We do have a map, but oh well. And we do have a uh, eternal pit of death back here. But you see, after all, I am the bridge maker, right? So what if I was to make a um, questionably stable bridge and just run across it real quick? Ah, yes, of course, I remember why I am now as well. Uh, useless is, um, is what, it, uh, what this was just now. Okay, okay, all right, let's consult the map, I do suppose. That's not the map. The maps are inside of the pouch. So, a big room, another big room leading down. Then we got, yeah, this is the entrance. Where's that where the church is, like the glassmaker's shop? Hmm. Well, either way, either way, we need to find something we can use for good orientation. I mean, yes, we're in a big rectangular room, but um, there's a few of those. <laughs> there's a few of these. Oh, yeah, that's where we fought the Proctor. I recognize it by the pit back there. Okay, a hallway. Some wheelbarrows in the way. Okay. Another long hallway. <laughs> yeah. I've followed yet by another long hallway. And this? No, not quite, no. I mean, it is a lot. Okay, back to the portal we go. Sit. Well, the portal... It has a very... Distinct layout. It's not this. It's maybe that. You have this little side room on the top. The room itself being um, very much shaped in the same style. Yeah, we're on the top. Okay, we're on the tippy top. We're now here. Good to know. Good to know. It's really like that long hallway. And there's presumably doors we can't open, or we can open, just haven't done so before. Right then. What's that on the floor? Huh. What if I take one of those balls with me? Yeah, blue ball. Ball. Good, good. Very important item. We'll need it later on. It's, it's gonna be very important, okay? Just believe me. Uh, you, you you'll see it. It's gonna be it's gonna be huge. All right. Big play coming in. Big ball play. I also haven't opened this one. Either it's locked, which it is, and I doubt that um, my key. This one, open. I doubt this one is the one. Yeah, it's not. Uh, anyways, back to this jam pouch, my bad. Back to this. So we are trying to go into this room. What we need to do is go all the way back here. There's going to be a longer hallway waiting for us. And toilets. So here's the hallway that kind of loops back up. And you seem to be at that end as well. Actually. And that's toilets. Or should be, at least. Is this the one that leads back up? Yeah, something like that. For Muffin, yeah, yeah, they didn't, they didn't. Yeah, they, they disrespect Muffin, man. It's truly a shame. You hate to see that. Not gonna lie, I'm a little lost. <laughs> Yeah, that's the hallway we're seeing right here. It kind of loops back into portal chamber, which, guess what? It did. Okay, I see now. You want to go down here? Because we're, like, here now. So we're going to go all the way down. 
using that hallway after this square room. First of all, I don't see a hallway. <laughs> I, 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 I'm missing the hallway part. No, it's not quite it. No, 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 it's not, it's not quite, not quite. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so. <clears throat> Let's play it back again. Unless there's an identical looking hallway on this side as well. That, that is something that is a little hard to tell by that map being a little um, wishy-washy. Yeah, it seems to be another one. Okay, but this one's collapsed. That's the problem. Okay. There's a sound of uh, throwing our torture like a real man. Damn right. Yeah, torches are for losers, you see. I don't think we've uh, had the chance to go into this room yet. See what we find. See what we got. A pouch? And a ink pot? No. <laughs> there you go. It's what we have. It's what this room is. It's the ink pot chamber. Right then. Let's go around. Let's take the other route. So, we know, yeah, we've been in this room right there. Which would mean that this doesn't, yeah, yeah. So this is this, and this is the one that's locked this door. Which is very inconvenient for me. So, um, yeah, so we're here. This door? Is it gonna be the uh, the room I am thinking of? It is. Yes. No. <laughs> no. No. Actually, not. It's not. I mean, it's not the L shape. It's this one, I believe. Well, if either way, uh, there's gonna be a door back here. But there isn't. Oh, it's not directly connecting to it as well. Well, there's only one way to go then. I've been stuck in here for way longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> so you do go down here into the smithy then. Like, you do have to do that then, yeah. Are you scamming a uh, murderer uh, while murdering other people? No, I'm not scamming. I just murder people. <laughs> but uh, basically, the lore goes, we, we woke up down here. We're trying to escape, obviously. And, um, screaming. Oh, screaming. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. Well, I'm not scamming, though, okay? Just to make that clear, I'm not scamming. Um, but screaming? Yeah, I, I, I do tend to scream. Um, grunt. I'm also grunting. I'm a little grunting murderer sometimes. Um, yeah. Guilty as accused. But basically, uh, from the story that I pieced together thus far, uh, let's go murder someone real quick, too. Just to get it out of my system. We got hit by the cleaver a little. Bit of a shame. Shouldn't have happened. Yeah, from what I know in terms of the lore thus far, we've been experimented on, and the guy who did was genuinely surprised by how easily we cut down his undead making our way through. And he would like for us to be recaptured or killed. So we're going to turn to a zombie. Or uh, be further experimented on. Of course. Of course it's a locked door. So yeah, that's that's how that goes. We, we have been uh, tested on earlier. Because we took the, um, we took the default start. There's, uh, uh, there's two other starts. One where you are at the proctor. And another one, we are basically Darren uh, Dixon guy, um, the farmhand, which we can get as a companion, which may or may not have met his final demise in the first floor after he um, successfully managed to unsuccessfully balance himself, falling down to a very 
very deep pit and uh, dying, you know, <laughs> presumably, presumed dead. And if he is alive, then God, I'd hate to be in his shoes right now. That I gave him, by the way, I gave him the shoes. So he still owes me, technically. If he's alive. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, shame that this door here is locked. A real shame, that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. It was all just like small between rooms. Nothing, nothing concrete there. Hold on. I would like to open the path and check out the chest. We found wool. And boots. And a pipe. Which I'm still disappointed you can't actually use, you know? It's not something like, um, For the King, where the only way to heal in the game is to actually smoke weed. <laughs> it's like, it's, I don't know if anyone here knows For the King, but it's like, uh, it's like a little, uh, game. A little roguelike, I suppose, in a way. And, uh, like an RPG roguelike. And it's like up to three players, I believe. In which um, you can upgrade your pipe to smoke better. You know, some healing pot. That's right. So, <laughs> it's uh, again, it's one way of doing healing, and that's back to the smith. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we don't want to be going here. I'm gonna go back, I believe, though. Where, where exactly back? Uh, consult the map. As I sit a little more upright so i'd like to use the highway here but sadly all the doors are locked uh, as we made our way through here down here that's like the smith more or less we went down the hallway we kind of to the left we're somewhere we're somewhere in here i believe it was a lot of little square rooms so we're taking the portal, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be taking the portal, but like, I, I first wanna complete the, uh, the crypts first. That's what I wanna do first. I again, walk the wrong way now. So I'm going up somewhere. So we're gonna be in a little square room at the top? Is that what's gonna wait us? No, not quite. It's, it's a, um... It's a path to the left. Slightly bigger room here. Did I just walk back to the portal? Shit, I did, didn't I? No, for sure, that's the way back. <laughs> Shit! Ouch! Yeah, that's the that's the smithy next to me. Now we want to go away from here, then. So what if I keep going this way? Long hallway should be this one. And it ends in this hallway, so if I go down here, there should be... Is that? Is that it? Is that what I'm looking at? Kind of, yes, kind of, yeah. Yeah, here's the little curve. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost where I want to be. Which means this is big room. Yes. It is. Which means... There we go. Made it. Only took way longer than needed to. <laughs> Only took a little longer than I'd like to uh, have taken. But yeah, we're gonna be taking the portal uh, once I'm done in this area here. Which... Still gotta do a few things here. And one of those is uh, fall down and advance myself on that one skelly man. Specifically, we don't sense any mines. Well, I just dimmed my own mind by falling face first in the floor again. Okay, let's move on, guys. This is the one chamber we plundered already. Could use a map of this place, you know? It's not, it's not a big level by any means, but, um, would appreciate a map nonetheless. Yes. Avoid the, um, eternal pit of death. Don't seem to sense anything, but... 
You can walk down here at the bottom. Just a shiny rock. Don't sense skeleton man yet. Okay, we're gonna slide down here carefully. Surely. We're not gonna hurt ourselves, break our neck and die. I'm sure it'll be fine. There you go. Mostly fine. <laughs> I believe if we go down this route, we're gonna find a um, very, very deep pit. Or nothing at all. Those were the two options. Okay. Then. Skeleton Man. I use a bolt on you. Screw you in particular. Eh. Eh. Now you're running! Son, where do you think you're going? Get blasted again. If only there would be like a neat little way to disarm him, you know? Oh, good. Yeah, there was a lot of damage there. Now, now, don't run away again. Please. You're only drawing it out. Longer than it has to be. You know, I can still hear you. I waddle my way towards Skeleton Man. I blast him again. Just standing there. Taking the hit, he did accept his final death after all. Just gonna double tap him here to make sure. Ooh, those vampires might be good. What do we have? Four slash, two and a half cross, three and a half pierce. It's better. Less rusty than the ones I had. Fool. Absolute dimwit. Now, I also didn't uh, take any risks with him. I did definitely want to blast him and keep him down for some easy hits. That I may or may not miss. <laughs> That's right. Alrighty. So, now it's time to Skyrim up. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it over here, you know? Maybe it'll work. Ah, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm rolling down the hill. <laughs> Not enough mana to go up. Of gear is determined by the level of danger to tetanus uh, you get from the gear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously if I get more tetanus from something, it's a secret stat, by the way. You don't see it. Okay, this should... <coughs> Fuck, that hurt. But it's, it's it should still do. It should still do, maybe. Come on. Whatever you do, do not, do not fall. You hear me? Do not fall down. That is close enough now. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. A little more. A little more. There you go. Did it. Let's go, baby. Good looking armor. And a nice little sword. Uh, if we ever feel like going one-handed style on someone. It must be the grave of someone important. Well, I appreciate a contribution to my own well-being. Because this, this curious, this chest piece, pretty good. Pretty good. I wonder if I had used telekinesis. If I could have opened that door that way, or not. It's one of the secrets that we'll just see, you know? If Diablo 2 resurrected at home. <laughs> nah, nah, there's this, this like a whole other beast in Diablo. Diablo's gonna happen tomorrow, actually, Diablo 2. Good night, Chad. Have fun streaming uh, over everything. Stumbling, stumbling, not streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming over everything, that's right. Yeah. You say something, there's a stream over it, you know? Damn right. Yeah, t tomorrow it's gonna happen. So look, stop. It is, it is pretty fun. It is a, um... It is like a physics-based, um... 
top down game basically if i press tab i go into combat stance anyone who attacks me with my radical here being on them i block if i left click i swing if i do if i hold left click while swinging my mouse i do a harder swing if i double click <clears throat> if i double click if i double triple click <clears throat> hold on if i <sighs> performance anxiety hold on <laughs> just swing down man <laughs> okay you know fuck off then just imagine i do a downwards attack okay and then i do the downwards attack and crouch down it'll be more potent that way if I hold down ALT, I stab people. If I hold down ALT and go forward, it's more momentum. So it hurts people more when I stab in that way. It's very physics based. And you will see me stumbling a lot in this game as well. Uh, such as, you know, I walk on top of a chair. I fall down because the chair made me stumble. I hurt myself. Basically. Right, locked doors. Trip counter. Oh, we should have. You know what? Yeah, we should have. We really should have done that. Yeah. Like, let me demonstrate this real quick. We have those two crates. And if I run over them. See how the physics are being a little wonky? How my character slows down a little? And bam, stumbled. That's right. By the way, blue bars my mana for my spells that I do have. Uh, the red and my yellow bar. Is the permanent damage I have taken. The yellow is my current health. If it gets depleted, I get knocked out, right? If, uh, if the whole bar is red, I am dead. And I need to restart from the start of the floor, basically. So we don't want to die. <laughs> There's a good incentive not to. Floors tend to be pretty big, let me show you. That's the floor we're in currently. This is the first level. You get the idea. Tripped and got stabbed. Yeah, I tripped on my sword and impaled my own skull. But yeah, yeah. So, so that's kind of how that works here. And you only save for the start of a new floor, which we're about to be had uh, to to head into, to be had into. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's an archive-looking area, huh? Um, at the start of floor one, or sorry, rather at the end of floor one, we had a lot of physics puzzle that we, uh, that we had to go through. So, if someone wants to go for the VOD, um, we used, like, a bunch of wooden beams, ladders, and so on, to, like, hold down a different lever, so the timer won't reset, basically, and we can actually succeed finishing the puzzle and so on. Walking and stumbling. Oh, hey, look, it's a gem. I'll put that into my little gem box. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. And again, tomorrow, everyone will be playing Diablo 2. Very excited for that one. I hear someone. I sense someone's mind. Approach! Approach! Or, or don't get stabbed. Come on. Fight me. Vanilla? Yes, vanilla. We're gonna be playing Diablo 2 without any chocolate, just vanilla. That's right. I cut his leg open. I don't think he had anything on him. Yeah, nothing important at least. Oh yeah, we also lost... Yeah, we, we had a companion who died in sad puzzle earlier because he fell down the abyss. Never to be seen again. You could use a uh, plaggy for quality of life. I wouldn't know what that is. Um, I mean, you, you, you can always link it to me in the, in the Discord if you want to. Um, I'm gonna take a look at it. Like, I work on quality of life stuff as long as it doesn't change too much in terms of, like, I guess gameplay. Like, 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 think Chernabog mod. Also, I don't think I want to go down here, but I'm, I'm committing already, so... Ah! Ouchie! Ah! Ah! Uh, 
Or the HD patch? Yeah, I mean, again, that's options. I mean... I also don't mind, like, after we played, you know, OG Diablo 1 as well, basically vanilla later on. Like, it's fine. Quality of life is welcome, of course, but not necessary. It's nice to have, I suppose, but, yeah. Well, I'll see what I'll do with it. Like, I'll, I'll check later on today or tomorrow if I find the time before stream. See, we're running a tight schedule. You, you, you see, I, I wake up in the morning. I do my work. My duties, you know. That people expect of me. Then I eat dinner and then right into streaming, you see. Repeat. Now in the evening, maybe I get some free time to do some casual gaming, you know. And that's about it. That's my day in a nutshell. <laughs> So, if I, if I find the time, I'll certainly check out all the mods. Orc cuisine? Orc cuisine, I mean, I mean, always orc cuisine, you know. Love eating some yumis. But, um, that's besides the point. The point is, we're running into the damn portal right here. Let's go! Damn right. Uh, yeah, so this is level 3. Level 3 is very special. For level 3 is where it starts getting a little wacky, you know, in the game. Level 3 is where it starts, um... We have a direct access route to level 4, 5, something like that. Level 3 is also where everything starts looking like Art Deco. Look at this door. Look at this door. I don't know, looks like a Dwemer ruin to me, you know? What terrible place is this? A thunderous voice sounds unintelligible in my mind, as though trying to command me with wordless urgency. It's as though it wants to both urge me to and soothe me. I'm terrified that I may succumb to its will. Its strange helm is my only respite, but it leaves me vulnerable. There's also a constant wailing of ancient restless spirits, has this presence been keeping them from finding peace? That's right, yeah. Yeah, cool floor. Like, uh, tiles on the floor, yeah. Uh, again, uh, there's a certain gimmick in this level. And that's the reason why I haven't thrown away my dagger yet. But this gimmick, I'm afraid we'll have to see next time. <laughs> that's right, I'm gonna be actually calling the stream here. Because we've been going for five hours almost. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna call it here. Again, it's been a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, let me play some music. If you're new to the channel, do consider dropping a follow. There's gonna be more Xanima, hopefully, next week. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have fun with Sir. Yeah, Sir, Sir is a great noodle. That's right. So, thank you for the, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it a lot. Very boy, you as well. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support and for watching. And again, tomorrow, I'll see you guys with some Diablo 2. <laughs> Poor Dixon. <laughs> but yeah, guys, you have a nice rest of your day. And uh, again, see you tomorrow. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, Sunday won't be any streams, by the way. Because I'll be in Germany. So, um... Can't stream them, now can I? <laughs> but I'll be back on Monday. So, tomorrow and then Monday. So, with that said, you guys have a lovely rest of your day. And till next time, okay? Take care and bye-bye.